Woo, what the lick read? It's London now for JT Money. Who that JT Money from the Poison Clan? Y'all lay around. It's the Drink Champ. My episode, bitch. What is your boy N O R E? What up, it's DJ E F N. What the fuck? <laughs> I, I'm trying to get my JT voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm your oh, man JT. JT. Yo, Yo, he's so man. excited because he lost his fucking voice. <laughs> this is motherfucking Entertainment Drink Chest. Happy hour. Hey. Make some noise. <laughs> and from the very moment we started this podcast, from the very moment that we said we was going to cover legends, and we said that we was going to go out. And we was going to get the people who's been down and who's people who's been... And the other two ounces, too. You and the two ounces, no too. No sidetracking. And... Two ounces, we, though. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the two ounces so, is legends. My bad, my bad, my bad. So... The legends, too. There was people... And then it was a time we didn't understand where, where the, our home was going to be. But once we said Miami, Florida is going to be the home of drink champs, I cannot tell you how many fans were crested this man. I can't tell you how many people has come up to us daily, wherever we at. When the fuck y'all going to have homie on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a part of a legendary group. When you first think of uh, uh, Dade County... Arguably, you think of Luke did him. Some, some people might say him than Luke, depending on who you ask. He's a legend, legend. Lyrical, I like to think of him if you put Tupac and Scarface together, mm. and they were from Florida, this is who he would be. Sprinkle a little Luke in there. I've been yeah. listening to him all goddamn week because we've been preparing, <laughs> and goddamn it, we're going to get there what the fuck Dank is. We're going to find out today. In case you don't know what we're talking about, the legendary, the legend of legends, king of Florida, king of Miami, Dade County, represent. Bet that up, whoa. <laughs> Yo, one, one and only, legendary, iconic, JT motherfucking hey. money. Boy, you're too kind. Long now, overdue, long Now, overdue. off top, <laughs> off top. I will, I love your, your relationship with Tupac. Yeah. I heard there was y'all was in Inferno in, in Hollandale. Yeah. Yeah. In Holland, you see, you see I got my yeah, 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 You know yeah. my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. I know my shit. And yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Tell the story of you and Pac in Inferno in, 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 in Holland. Yeah, man, you know, um, I had just heard about him, though. That's when mm. I first met him. But mm. he had this song, you know, I think Brennan's Got a Baby was out, but he had this song, All I Wanted to Be a Soldier. And my mm. dude say, Jay, you hear that right? Say, yeah, that nigga gonna be there tonight. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, we gotta go see this mm. guy. So this so, is only, he only got Brennan's Got a Baby. This is right after, yeah. um, a Jew. digital underground. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right the first after album, digital, digital first album. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, do sound like each other. So I, to get I, I, I pull up, I and, I pull up in the shit, you know, <laughs> and I walk in the back, cause you know, JC Money by then in the hood, you know. Yeah. I walk in the back where they at, and, and the song was playing. I hate ho, ho, hey, man. That boy rolling the joint saying, I hate ho, ho, hey. So I walk in like, Okay, but he already, he already knew who I was though from two little like mothers. But of course. since then, though, we've been tight, you know. So we will see each other on the road at different conventions, you know. And they used to have seminars and conventions mm-hmm. back yeah, in the day. Impact convention, impact, yeah. We, Gavin, yeah, we, yeah, right. Jack the Rapper, all, Jack yeah, the Rapper. we would always yeah. bump heads right there. Not bump heads, but running the players, you know. It was good, good game, man. Okay. And, and I heard it was one time that you bumped into him. And you told him, man, you got all these niggas on your album. You ain't no, got me on your album. I was waiting. <laughs> right. no, but he passed before that. Right. Oh, oh. Because, you know, prior to that, uh-huh. you know, it was Luke Records and Death Row. Right. 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 Once upon a time. Yeah. Yeah. the rival cows and continents. You yeah. know, all that was going on. But then my man had then got hooked up over there. And, it, you know, I was just going to be like, me. so how you got all these <laughs> niggas and you ain't, you know, your right. boy, you know, right. your guy. Right. We go, right. for, you know, but anyway. 
It, it ain't happened that way, though, but that was it, though. I ain't never get to tell him, though, but I know he done heard by now because I done said right. that one once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. down there tripping. Good. So, <laughs> so, um, Stay down there tripping. So let me ask you, right? When I first I moved, I've been living, I'm going on, I think, 16 years, like, solid living You're in You're 305 Miami. at this point. Just, oh, yeah. All right, all right. You just got to have to But one, one of the first things that I heard was, like, the Broward and Dade, like, little sayings to each other, right? This is shit that I didn't huh. know when I lived in New York, right? But then now that I'm out here, I see, like, they'll say, like, browers and cow, cows and browers. Uh, uh, and then and they'll day. be like, oh, get, don't get sprayed in day. Uh. But a lot of people tell me that that, came, that is the act, exact thing that directly came from Compton's get sprayed in day. Yeah, well, was that, it was it was it the feud between Broward and Dade? Well, yeah. uh, 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 somebody was no. You asking the question? Um, it, it was just the vision. You know, Dade, Dade was Dade and Broward was Broward because anybody from anywhere else thought Miami was from Palm Beach down. Right. right. And then Miami niggas be like, no, nah, them niggas from Broward. No, nah, them niggas right. from Palm Beach. Right. You know, just like like you hit a boy, yeah, he be like, no, nah, nigga, I ain't from Dade. I'm from Broward. Right. Who you know that? Like, like, okay. Yeah, he a rough okay. shit. Nah, okay. You know, but. Uh-huh. That's all I was, but that whole uh, cows and cows against Braden Day, it yeah. was cows from Broward at first. That came from that? Yeah. God yeah. damn, let me know. 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 Let I ne- we never right. saw that. We right. always saw yards being the South as having unity. Right, right, yeah, right, we never, right. we never, we never saw that. Cause I heard you. That's like how you got on. It's like kind of not got, got on, but like that was one of the things you did in school was battle like New York people who came yeah, out here. That's they, who, they, I'm they the only could. niggas that rap. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't no other niggas rap. You know what I'm saying? Right, but right. then, like I even started rapping because it wasn't no niggas like me rapping. Wow. Yeah, it was like it was all it was almost there. You know, so who good. influenced you? Like, who influenced your rhyme? It was Cuban, Scarf, and JT Money. Okay. But right. I was always Cool J Rock, him, Big Daddy Kane. Uh. And Cool J Rock, you right. know? See, right. but I, 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 I know the music. You know, I used to listen to niggas like Chill Rob G. Right. You know, niggas don't even know about these yeah. things. You know, just like, but, I was way you, back then. How do you be influenced for something like that? And then, at the time, uh, uh, it was Luke. That was well, really, really doing well, it, and bass music, imperious. So how? But how, I, I was everybody you named is real lyrical, and you could when you listen to your lyrics, you could tell that you're. Yeah, a I was. Person. A, I was a fan of the, the lyrics, the rap music. I, right. I actually heard them as a shorty. Mm. Like, yeah, that's that shit. Right. Like, but I, our music was. You know, the bass music, there was, the, it was it more was party. The beats that made them bass. Yeah, but the if you beats. listen to early Two Life Crew, the right. lyrics was similar right. to what Run DMC was. I'm just saying, oh, which is really? Southern right. style. Okay. Right, but Southern it was, style. to me, Two Life Crew was kind of lyrical for that time. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? My brother Marquise, he was the, yeah. he was the guy for a kid. I was your yeah. R.I.P. Yeah, yeah. brother. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. So, okay, how did you and Uncle Luke initially hook up? Well, <clears throat> Mr. Mix from Two Life Crew, mm. he actually heard me and Dale. And uh, like a little talent show, Big Daddy 8600. That was our, that was our money. Right. We still in school now, but right. we'd go out there college night, Tuesday or Wednesday, <coughs> and we won first or second place. $100 a week or $200 a week or something like that? It was either 500 or the 300. 300. We either got the 500 or the 300. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? No. So, yeah, man. Yeah. 150. <laughs> 150 every week, though. No, right. <laughs> Without robbing them. <laughs> no, it's not. Right. But, um, yeah, Mr. Mix heard us, and uh, he like, man, y'all want to make a record? Right. And I don't even think Deb knew who he was, because, you know, I'm an East New York nigga. I'm right. a Brownsville nigga. Right. But I'm like, yeah, nigga, let's do it. We wasn't even trying to make a record. Like, in our day, we wasn't passing out demos. We right. wasn't going to see people. Right. We didn't have no industry here. It wasn't... Right. If, nigga, if you went down with Luke and them, I don't... Luke was uh, the only industry, right? So is it safe to say that Luke created the industry here? He well, you, we always had Gloria Estefan, oh, right. Casey and the Sunshine Band. Oh, we shit. always for had that. For rap, yeah. Michael Sterling, nigga. We always had right. in a circle, but the rap music. Luke was like the biggest independent, the major independent. Like you had other labels, you know, Sandem had a label, Bay Station, or uh, um, whoever, Candyman. All these, every dope boy had a record label. Right. It just, mm. and then everybody get a, a local single. But Luke, and them, Luke did more marketing, promotion, more of an international scale. Mm-hmm. You know, and then with the controversy, you know, that man was nationwide. Right, right. International at that. 
So, you know, that's the way I see it. Because I, shit, I ain't know nothing. I just knew I was playing on the winning team. And right. I was going, <laughs> Kobe, that shit, nigga, Jordan. So, so because cause at, at that time, it really wasn't, and I don't want to label the South, like, in, in it's the title, oh, yeah. but it really wasn't lyrical. Like, right. like I, to tell you the truth, like, you're, like, the first lyrical person that I heard coming from Miami. Is that fair? I was like, I know there's been... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, but, I, I, you know, again... I'm that, sure there's been people... I, there well, was, I, but you didn't hear about but it. I didn't Definitely hear about on, like, on the yeah. level, on the level, yeah. Yeah, on the level. So, but how, 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 I, I know you said you, with your idols, but what made you want to go lyrical? What, what made you not say, let me just if, stick with bass? If I'm around, if I'm going to talk to you, I'm going to tell you yeah. something. I ain't going right. to waste your ear space, and right. I ain't going to waste right. my... You know, right. scratch you right now, I ain't going to waste these vocal cords. <laughs> I plan on singing next right, year. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So the so y'all we around from a new album. <laughs> I'm singing. <laughs> I'm singing next year. <laughs> yeah, I did the rap thing, right. man. Thirty years plus, nigga. I'm finna sing now. Right. right. <laughs> Just playing good. Here. But um, yeah, man. But the rap. But again, my dudes know. Them. You know, he's New York dude. Mm-hmm. I was rapping because you know it wasn't none of us being represented, mm-hmm. and everybody had. Damn near the same rhyme. You rap the, mm. the colors, you rap the sodas, right. <laughs> you rap the liquors. You right. know, I'm like, yeah, nigga, but roll out the red carpet, let the vehicles blow, pimp deserves a great. You know, I talk that Miami shit, but uh-huh. yeah. But the first album, they called y'all Baby Two Life Crew. Yeah, Baby Two Life, yeah. Two Little Life Mother. The second album, though. I say down. it's like Miami's NWA, like, like right. Fair to Compton. That's what it felt like. Well, that's when me and Dale split. And by that time, I was like, oh, y'all like that? Where they went to do home team, right? Yeah, they went to do home team, yeah. Right. Still my brother, still love him. We still right. love him. We doing the new Poison Clan, but then... Wow. When that... Uh, for that. Yeah. Wait, yeah. That. New Poison Clan, got that. Yeah. Long live the clan. <laughs> we, we got all the members, you know, everybody recording. You know, we got about 10 songs so far. Anyway, but when we split, by that time, I was to the point of, oh, y'all like that? But where they get a load of this? That's when you start getting the actions and the eye holes and the whole stories and the say what your mama good. Like, oh shit, nigga, it's, mm-hmm. it's just doing me now. Mm-hmm. It ain't even rap no more. It's, right. it's rep. It's representing now. Nah. It's representation. Right. The first album I called that Deb and Hobbs album, you got the California producer, New York nigga, and the Miami nigga. I call that their album because I just came in off the street and filled in the blanks. Right. Like, mm. We would get on the phone, like us three, and we'd talk, say, what, what you got for this beat? We did all that. Then we go in the studio, we spent all day, all night, you know? But when I wasn't recording, I was, you know, just whatever I was doing, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas running yard. Yeah, I was doing my thing, you know, you know what I'm saying? So that's day album. But by the time we got to Portland Mentality, that's when everybody left Luke. Mm. Everybody was gone from Tula to... To home team, my boy, you know, I just stuck with him, you know? Yeah. And, and I felt like at that time, there was a lot of niggas waiting on him to fold, too. They ain't really like Captain like Dick. how Wayne stuck with Cash Money. Yeah, stuck with okay. him. I, I wrote a yeah. good example. Right. I rolled with him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, I did my thing. But, like, if you, li- if you listen Yonkor, to Porter Yonkor. Mentality, you hear my name a lot in that bitch. I made sure a bitch knew who I was after that album. No, but even the album, as you look at it right it's now, it's labeled JT one yeah, and, and the Boys and Clan. Yeah, that's some creative marketing by the people who won the bankruptcy from Luke and them, and they using it because they had the right to do so and that paperwork back then that they won and all that right there. But it's I cool, though. They not lying, though. Hey, they they found that loophole. Though. Yeah. yeah, they not lying, though, but I mean, goddamn. Holy <laughs> shit, I wasn't ready. How did you do that? JT yeah. Money got two separate careers, man. Uh-huh. Sometimes they don't even... Put me together. If you listen to the radio station like Pan North Spiral, you won't hear JT Money song on the Poison Clan station. You won't hear Poison Clan record on the JT Money station. If if you only one that'll probably bleed is Shake with Your Mama Gay. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, you won't hear none of those other PC songs if you listen to JT Money Radio. That's crazy. And if you listen to Poison Clan Radio, what you more, like on Pandora or Spotify? Yeah, yeah, Either like, one of them. Like Apple Music or something. Well, why? They don't put them together. It's two different lives. That's crazy. It's, a, it's not... Does that work out beneficially for you all? I ain't figured it out yet. I want them all there. <laughs> yeah. I want all the I mean, shit that's your career. Them. All of it is your yeah. legacy. Yeah, well, I mean, my piece is my piece. Right. So every right. 30 days or three months, is, it'll show up. You know what's right. fucked up about us is... What, what, what year you came out? 1990, the, the Two Low Light Mothers album. Okay, so you, you definitely... I came... 
96, 97. Uh-huh. There was no digital in no our di- contract. At all. Yeah. At, yeah. All. Yeah. at so all. So how the fuck do we even go and debate that y'all owe us digital uh-huh. money when we never actually signed a digital deal? Uh-huh. This, I said it's asinine. Listen, I've actually read lyrics, I mean not lyrics, but concert, and they say um, for any and other whatever and to come they, yeah. they putting that in that right. now well, for the next thing y'all in perpetuity yeah. shit like they can't that can't start selling CDs through elephants they say right. they, they own throughout that too the universe. Yeah, that's fucked throughout up throughout the yeah. universe that should be yeah. fucked up and, uh, yeah, yeah they, they doing that too right. mm-hmm. they're like shit man but when Dance All Night came out before the album dropped so that was wasn't that 89 this is what I hate before you become the girl that I hate this is what I hate oh I got that in my notes uh-huh. yeah that's 89 mm. and then the album dropped in 90 Mm. Y'all were running that through the pack jam? Yeah, pack jam, shit, wherever. Shit, that 99 jams was bumping that. I was like, wow, we on Col- the radio. We on the radio. Before huh? DJ Collin. Yeah, this is way yeah, before. This yeah. way before. Yeah. All right, let me, let, me, let me go to um something about pimping. Something about Featuring Too Short. Yeah. Wait, wait, how did you make this? How did you connect with Too Short? What the fuck is going on? This is, yeah. and this record can play, be played right now. Yeah. Can play that shit right now. See, when when, when Atlanta was the uh, well, this was before I went to Atlanta. I was always C short. Too I short stayed to booked Atlanta up there, right? Day. He was up there, right. and I, you know, and I always wanted to do some business show. We always did a lot of shows. So when I finally got a situation mm-hmm. with a little budget, mm-hmm. I was able to say, "Hey, man, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, without being disrespectful, because you know, shit, we ain't had no features. That was my first time doing features mm-hmm. on Pimpin' on Wax." Everything else was niggas from the hood, niggas I knew. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Poison Clan, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we didn't reach out to other. I'm, damn, that's fucked up. I remember some little dudes was asking me about a feature, and I go to Luke and say, hey man, nigga wanna do a feature, what you think? He said, I wouldn't do it. Sure. <laughs> so I ain't do it. But I'm not thinking of networking or fucking with nobody somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? Right. Spreading the game. Because I, I don't know, I guess we was in the major independent at the time. And Short was independent as well? He was a mm. But he was Short, you know. I guess he was doing what he wanted to do. You know, we took care of the paperwork. But, yeah, that was just some shit I wanted to do. Like, And you was on Jobs at the time or you was on? No, nah, I, I was doing um, Priority Capital. Yeah, priority. Capital Priority. Who that was on you know, Priority? Yeah. Ice Cube and them. Cube and them was over yeah, there. Yeah. And P, P and them was over there? At that Everybody yeah, at that time. Them, yeah. A lot yeah. of people were Snoop there. and all them niggas, yeah. And you were independent through priority? Or? I had a situation, me, Dallas, Austin, and Tony Mercedes. We, mm-hmm. we had a situation, and Dallas had to plug over that capital. <laughs> capital told priority to work it. Uh. And I just went out and did what I had to do. Because, uh. uh, yeah, I was getting more money than I was getting yesterday. Do you, do you, <laughs> yesterday price <of> money. <laughs> <laughs> Today price of money. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you like being on a major, or do you like being on an independent? Um, I, I like where I'm at right now. I'm kind of like under the radar, but over the bullshit. Right. You know, it's like, you know, skating and shit. And then I throw the dick when I want to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Heisman on them hoes, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm free, you know what I'm saying? But the major, listen, man, I, I believe they don't play with the money when they say they're going to give you the money. <coughs> but then what you got it, I think... What you talking about you major? Got, yeah, okay. I think once you got it, you got it. Right. So don't be trying to come back like, well, right. what about... They gonna, you know, that's when they're going to get crazy. But if we say, nigga, I need this right now, I think they're going to do that. The major? Yeah, I think so. Well, so that's how they've done me. I ask them, I say, I say what I want, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you pick independent or major? Do I pick? Which one? I'd rather be independent. Me I went again, Nori. But... I went again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, the reason being, cause... But he heard, he heard what he said when he bought that check, though. Of course, of that course. That check, that's that major. That's what it is. Yeah. It's tied to something. I'm always major, he's always independent. Yeah, yeah. see? Yeah, see, he, we don't mind grinding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, no, slow I, I, grind. I, 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 want, I want pedicures, even though right. I don't got a pedicure. Right. I don't got uh, no pedicure, but I, I want haircuts and shit. Then I can pass it over to the young one and they can sell it. I don't know. But... Yeah, man. Okay. You sell pieces and bits of hip-hop hits, you know what I'm saying? Right. No, I can rent it out to you. You can't own it. Who, 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 who JT would do a versus against? You probably got to get about two or three people to fuck with me. I'm just saying in real life, though. <laughs> I mean, and you can pick whoever you want to pick. <laughs> All right, let me can I, can I keep it local? like that. Boom! Boom! <laughs> can I keep it local? Huh? You, I don't you care. Trick? trick my brother. I'll do anything. Listen, 
See, me and Trick do shows like that. Yeah. He do a song, I do a song, he do a song. Do a, you know, we don't rock the crowds like that. Uh-huh. Hit, no, 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 you give it to me. Yeah, we, we don't rock the crowds like that, you know? But, again, hey, man, whatever they want to do, man. What? Oh, okay. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. So, no, 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 let's finish asking this yeah. question. So, but I'm, I'm asking you, saying, you would though. I? Yeah, would Yes, you? I would. Yes, yes, you would. Yes, I okay, would. Okay, now, now I know. Now, I, Trick's I, already said, nah, I ain't fucking with nobody from the crib. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. it's like a celebration. And that's how we got to go to the We got right. to sell it yeah. as such. You know but if, who you betting on against you or Trick? Say T money, man. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I don't even want to get y'all in trouble. <laughs> they, nah, they nah. Put me at, All right, let's let's think of let's think at, of one more guest. In a neutral zone. Okay, let's think of one more. Uh, Cause I'm the underdog uh, now. No, no, no. Let's think, I'm the underdog. Think, okay, okay. But get us I got in a neutral zone. Any I day. got one. I got two actually. Two. Give it to me. Let me tell you. Tell me if because because I might be off the off the Richter scale. Twister. Like a versus. Yeah. Yeah, I would, but I don't know enough of his music. I like the Pope pimp. Again, anybody, man. He you ain't got to know his music. He gonna go fat right. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It don't matter. We got to know his opponent. Okay. Nigga, but look, nigga gonna be like, <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And I'm, you gonna say, hit him high. Yeah, right. Hit him, hit him low. Like I, I, I got something for everything. <laughs> every genre, yeah. every style. Nigga, what you want to do? You want to roll out the red couple of... Look, Frozen Kids in the house, what you want to do? Turn it up, turn it up. Can nobody you come with Nigga, run the yard. What you want to do? You're playing reggae dog? Come on, get it together. These hoes, these niggas, this game. <laughs> See, that's what I'm going to do. Get the light, nigga. Turn it up. Turn it that's up. That's the energy, goddammit. Give me a vodka club soda. Live it. Let's go. Get him high. I'm gonna just go out right. I'm gonna just go out right and ask it. What kind of drugs was you on when you made that? <laughs> that had you. That was not marijuana. That's I something else. Yet. It was only weed. I it was only yet. weed. Hey, I wasn't yet. It wasn't yet. I wasn't <laughs> lying yet. <laughs> the, <laughs> the dance. The <laughs> soda dance. I don't energy. know. Vodka club soda. I right, get a lemon. Energy, man. Lime. I hate lime. Okay. okay. Yeah, lemon. Thank you. I'm sorry, the, man. The beat yeah. pull that shit out, dog. Cool. Who the made beast? that beat? Tricky Stewart. So I ain't want to deal who that. Mm. Ooh, hold on, you go, don't, go, don't go to that back. Don't go there yet. All right, all right. Tricky Stewart. So what, what is the first thing when this beat come on? You, what did you say? Did you say, yeah, did the chorus come immediately? Mm-hmm. Funny thing. I had one of my little dogs with me. And uh, he just—he said, while I'm writing the verses, I ain't got no hook yet. Mm-hmm. And he just put that shit in my ear. What did he say? He said, hit him, hit him, hit him high, hit him low, hit him high, hit him low, hit him high. And I'm just like, just like you doing now. Uh-huh. Hit him high, hit him. Uh-huh. Then they know. Yeah. <laughs> they thought, you know, we had the, the, the riding cowboys. Hit him high. You know, like the Western. That was the Western? I didn't <laughs> know that. Like some, think about yeah, it. We yeah, never yeah, that Western shit. Yeah. I didn't know that. I don't be watching Westerns. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Country was and shit, Oh, boy. shit. With, with some crunk shit. Hit him, hit him, hit him, hey. Yeah, man, that's showtime. That's that John Wayne. So, I know some shit like that, right? So now, now. With the feeling, now, now John this Wayne, you don't get none of that. This is where crunk music is at the top of the game, correct? Or, or. It, it was a genre. I was in Atlanta at the time. So people were thinking you from Atlanta when this record come oh, yeah, out? Yeah, they did that. Yeah. I, that's, that's when I learned uh, by way of. Mm. I ain't know nothing about that. Okay. Yeah, you from LA? Yeah, by way of Miami. Right, right. Like, I still I said, nigga, I'm from Miami, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, oh, they you hit know. you with the by way of Atlanta? Yeah, he was saying it. Yeah, yeah, I had to put the by way in. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. Did I do that wrong? Yeah, because they like, yeah, you know, no, you said it right. Atlanta, yeah, by way of Miami, Florida. Right. And they're like, oh, okay, you from Miami? Yeah. Mm. Miami, not Miami. Mine. Mm. <laughs> yeah, all that. I was talking all that shit right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, holy shit, man. Holy shit. I got, I got notes. All right, I got the Inferno, okay. Yeah. Hit him. Ah, we got that. Okay, the joint you got dedicated to the old school. Yeah. Yeah, I like that, Roger. What made you do that? I don't know. Somebody said they were going to give me my flowers while I'm alive. I wanted to give them niggas their flowers. Mm. You know well, let's give you your flowers. Where your flowers? Where your flowers? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
all, all, all the stuff I was listening to. Mr. Lee's never ready. Like all, yeah. all the stuff yeah. I was listening to, the stuff we grew up to right. rocking. And I'm like, shit, man. Because I, I, I was hoping one day one of my old niggas gonna hear like. But well, we gonna get your flowers to your face right now. Hey. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's how you know they showing off. They put a sticker of Dave on the back yeah. of this and all that. They ain't do that for nobody else. They ain't do that Come for on, nobody. Miami. This is Miami. Fun, man. Miami is disrespectful, Miami motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, they hold, they holding it down for you, my brother. That's right. That's right. Yeah, but um, let's, let's, let's finish the old school question. So well, you I, want? To... I was hoping one of the old school niggas was gonna hit and be like, "Damn, boy, Jay gave us a shot out." Right, right, right. You know, and probably still like, "Well, who that? Who that little nigga is? Don't know him, grown as hell." But <laughs> they be like, "Damn, you heard that boy shouted your name out." Mm. Jeffrey Auburn or somebody, Frankie Bell, be like, nigga, JT Money <laughs> said my name. Holy <laughs> uh, yeah, shit. Yeah, nigga, I love you, nigga. Uh. <laughs> shout out to Barry White, dude. What's up? Uh. Yeah, you were shouting all of them out. You right, shouting right. all of them out in that record. Yeah, man. Before I move on I, to this next question, how come you, Trick, and Ross ain't made a whole album together? Like that Mount like the Westmore, Murder Inc. Like, or the Mount Westmore right or now. Or like Mount Westmore. What would y'all yeah. call? And you got to add Trina. You got to add Trina, right? I, I'm working on it. All right, we got to get all these cats in one room together. Like, I, I'm thinking it's beyond ego and pride. I hope that ain't it. I'm, I'm hoping it's busy schedules or priorities at first. And, you know. Oh, do you have this idea? Yeah, I've been trying to get them in. Like, people been at me for that for the longest. But I'm like... Well, stop asking me. Y'all know I'm with it. Just get these other niggas on board, and I'm going right. to show up to work. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? But I ain't going to lie. I think Trick would it. I think Trina would do it. I think you just got to send the, 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 the verses to Rose. And right. I think he'll do it. I, right. Me knowing all of y'all. But is it, it all take, four? Is the dream all four, or is it three of y'all? Well, it was all uh, three. You know, three? I figured Trina would be there somewhere. Yeah, she'd be on all the hooks. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck right, it no, then, no, nigga. Huh? <laughs> I was talking about Let's the talk couple of verses. Couple of verses, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So what's the name of the group if it's ever happened? Never thought that far. The Crib. Yeah. The Crib. I like it. Right. I need 10%. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and, and it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> the, Real easy. The Crib. The Crib. The Crib. The crib. Yeah. I like it. I like it. You ain't get it? Oh, shit. No, okay, all right. I'm going to cool. put that in there. Y'all mm -hmm. niggas OEFN, nigga. Mm -hmm. hey, hey, hey. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he love he love being from 305. That's one thing about y'all y'all Miami people. Y'all love being from Miami. Okay, relax, cameraman. Okay, relax, cameraman. Y'all love. What is it about this Miami pride? I don't know. I, I think... We think we different. It's just like y'all New York niggas. Y'all thought y'all was the center of the world. Just like y'all thought y'all was the center of the world. And then we down here like... Look that New bit. York shot again. Yeah, see, now we like this. One, like two, left. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all mountain pie, we a mountain pie. Yeah, that's very true. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got ports, we got ports. You yeah, know what I'm saying? True. Yeah, that's that true. shit was being dropped in our backyard. You know what I'm saying? We drive up. Center of the world in the 80s. Saying, yeah. I'm going to give y'all one thing. I'm going to give y'all one thing. And I'm born and raised in New York, but I've been out here for quite some time. I'm going to give y'all one thing that y'all one million percent clearly beat us on. What? This is the most corrupt place in the world. <laughs> yo, hey, man. Hey, yo, man. you can buy anything anywhere at any but hour from, from anybody. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> see, now, see, the way you explain it, it sounds like good to me. It like the <laughs> I go out of place, I was like, man, these niggas ain't hustling around here. Because if I want to go somewhere at four in the morning to get yeah. me a drink, uh -huh. buy me some weed, right, right. Mm. I should be able to do so. Right, right, right. as a grown ass man. Mm. It's <laughs> not. Know, yeah. You go to places, like, I mean, when I was driving, Driving down from Atlanta, I have my team with me. Uh -huh. I would pull over at six in the morning just to show them niggas I can go in the liquor store. Mm. But just to show them, see, this is what we do here. At the yeah. There's a liquor store around here. It's called 23. Yeah, 23. 23 and hours. they just added that back then, <laughs> 2000 and something. Yo, where you by the way. Where you close one hour. By the way, I'm going to be honest. When I when In New York, at 12 o'clock, our liquor store is closed. So when I first started coming out here, I would ask, where's the bootlegger? Because yeah, bootlegger. after 12, right. even in New York, we'll go to a bootlegger. Right. And you your, your thirty dollar bottle of Hennessy is now ninety five dollars. Right. And I would ask people when I came out here when I first moved out here, we're the bootlegger, and they would just look at me like, "What bootlegger, motherfucker? Right. We can go to the regular right. liquor yeah, store." Right. I'm right. like, yeah. "It's two a.m." They're like, hours. "No, it's open." I'm like, right. "What the fuck?" That's what I do. My yeah. enemy's a yeah, corrupt man. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not the corrupt part of yeah. it. I mean, that's that's right. a, that's the beginning of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I can speak for the Cuban side of it. Yeah, Cuban politicians. And then another thing. 
is another important. thing. This is another thing that I learned early on in Miami. The strip club is not really a strip club. It's no, a no, business no. It's a place. It's a club. Yeah. It's, it's a meeting center. Meeting, meeting it's, it's you can a, have dinner there. You can have dinner yeah. there. Like, it's nothing sexual about a strip club when you actually in Miami. Right. Like, when you first it's normalized. hear about it, you're like, oh, okay. Like, if, especially if your girl not from Miami or don't. Like, what are you going to Tootsie's for? You're like, I'm going to have a, meet, a meeting. Uh-huh. And like, for, oh, well, the chef is five star. Yeah, the chef is five star. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like really, and then uh, your girl looking at you like really, and then then she wind up going there. And she's like, I I got a meeting at Tootsie's. Yeah, <laughs> shit is real. The chef, that fried lobster is serious. Make some noise for the fried lobster. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly, guacamole. Okay. Check. Come clean. Let's talk come, about that. Come at all. Yeah. Mm. Um, motivational record. You know, scripture. You know, what I'm saying if you're mm. gonna do it, do it all the way. or Don't do it at all. Come mm. clean or don't come at all. Cause when you have step, that's when motherfuckers. Who, who has the name of that record first? You or Jay with a damager? Mm, that's right. Jay He's right. had a record because I, 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 I was just, just you want a front, uh, that that ain't blue, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, DJ Premier blue, produced, blue, yeah. Blue, blue, blue. This nigga hip hop. That wasn't. <laughs> he had yeah. a hip hop to do it like that, too. <laughs> that was hella hip hop right there. So, All the young niggas in the room know you. <laughs> you was cool. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that, that, that was a big record. See, yeah, that was some real hip hop shit. shit you know, yeah. from all that nah, shit. Nah, 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 that's some real hip hop um, shit. I didn't, I didn't know that I was here, but come clean was a saying. It's always been right. a saying. You know, right. come clean and don't come at all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or, oh, nigga, I can't clean on that shit. You better come clean, then. You know, and it's like. Whether it's information or just the game, you know, your car, mm. your outfit, mm. you gotta come clean. We going to, you know, I'm right. on here with y'all today, nigga. I better come clean. No, no, no. I you better, clean. I you better clean. get it, yeah. You clean. So, so if he did it then, then that mean he beat me on that one. Okay. I'm gonna have to shoot to that, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. Okay. Hey, one so, of my favorite rockets. Nah, so, so one of the days, this is one of the first days. Um, this is crazy. I know I told the story. I told the story with, with Trick before. But we were on the tour. It's me, Big Pun, Trick. I forget who else. I believe Fat Joe was on this. But Trick calls me to his room. Trick is rolling the blunt. <laughs> so it's all black at first. This is when, you know, we didn't have green weed back then. Like, <laughs> all you fucking green weed assholes. Like, we had brown weed the back brown. then. Like, we had, used to call it Todd and Todd and Yard. Yard and shit like yard, that. So... Right. Trick is rolling up. And then before I know it, like his, his blunt went from brown to straight white. Nice. <laughs> and then he flipped it. And you know, we from New York, so we don't know what the fuck going on. <laughs> and he lit that, and we knew that was a different smell. No, that shit was different. <laughs> <laughs> we knew that was a different smell. Heavy day. And to this year, and to years later, we, we, I would still see Trick. And I would see him in So Be Live, and I'm like, Trick Daddy is here. You can like, tell. I would never see him. You gotta see him. <laughs> <smell. laughs> he on the whole other side. I'm like, do, Trick do Daddy here. They're like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, he, he is. is. And sure enough, is that what Dank is? Or was? Yeah, somebody version, yeah. Okay. But like, when I was saying Dank, I was just calling weed Dank anyway. Right. Mm. Smoking on some good Dank. Mm. Good Dank. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, people was talking about uh, bunk and lace. Bunk, bunk. Yeah, bunk. Mm. Like, yeah. you mm. know, dirty, heavy. Yeah, dirty. Heavy that. This this what I knew. Miami is an ill place. I, I asked a dude one time. I don't want to say his name because he's kind of famous too. And I said, yo, why, why you smoke that shit? I swear to God. He looked at me in my face. And said, "This is more pure than weed." <laughs> he told me, "Cocaine." Yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you something. Man. <laughs> Yo, he gonna defend that point of view. Picture your gramps telling you that. <laughs> yeah, man. Motherfucker trying to hide this good high. This the good shit. <laughs> that other shit. That. Right. And I'm sitting there like, wow. Like, <laughs> nigga saying no. This is better than that. The mm-hmm. good high. This that good clean high. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. So mm-hmm. some people believe that, <laughs> but no. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I mean, weed, though. How we gonna compete with weed, though? <laughs> right. Weed is like the new crack now anyway. Right. 
Like it's more, it's more weed all, right, boom. all over. Look, so can I, mean, I tell y'all my weed story? Okay, man. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Come on, let's get that. Let's get that go, weed. I go a million uh-huh. places, right? Uh-huh. And then it's, it's always said it out the best of the best. Uh, uh, uh. Not even tired of me because I don't oh, be shit. smoking all oh. day no more. Uh-huh. I did my seven years on papers clean. Did you just say seventy years? Seven. Okay, right. seven I'm years. Say, wait a minute. Straight. No, because you know everybody got their formula and method. Like, no, nah, Jay, all you gotta do, you can still smoke. You just take this and do it. I say, no, nigga. That's uh, not, I'm going to just stay out. Right. I'm not going to piss dirty. I'm, mm-hmm. If me being out here, if all I got to do is not smoke. And, you know, I'm single parent at the time. I got right. my two young niggas. Well, you know, that's I, what I'm talking about. Daddy, you know That's rawr. what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking so, about. So when I got all papers, niggas like, oh, boy, I'm going to get you high, boy. I tried to hit that shit once. What? Like, nigga, you talking about, man, what the fuck is y'all smoking? Right. <laughs> this ain't reefer no more. This ain't, <laughs> the fuck is this shit? Yeah. I'm talking about hiding a bit. <laughs> like, even today, I still try, like, if you smoke, I, I'd be like, well, nigga, I hit it because it's you. But right. one time, you try to pass me, like, nigga, I don't want that shit. Yeah, this is that razzing hair. I hit. don't smoke. Yeah. But I found me something else. Okay, what you got? What you got in there? New JT Money thing. Okay. Man. It's more medicinal versus recreational, y'all say. Oh, the drops. Yeah, man. That looks like it come from Dr. Sabi. That's that mm-hmm. magic potion. No. That's all. Yeah. Any ailment, pain, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want to just get a bud? No. Is it CBD or not no, CBD? It's definitely it's definitely get you not high. CBD the way he okay, talked about it. This is yeah. definitely TAC. Yeah, that's fire, so you ain't got to smoke. Yeah, even, right. You know huh. what I'm saying? Again, I'm trying to bring my vocal cords back because I'm singing next year. Right. <laughs> you playing around when you sing, you singing, or you, you going you gonna to sing? I'm a sing, man. You gonna sing? Yeah, man, why not? I just Fuck gotta it. do it in my key. All right. <laughs> I'm just talking I mean, shit, yeah, auto tune make everybody sound right. good. Pro- auto tune make everybody some, sound some good. Some producer might figure it out. Right, right. Man, do I, it with T-Pain. I ain't gonna tell y'all, man. Mm. You know, we had uh, T.I. and Boosie here, and they both told us that they're doing an album together. If you had a chance to do an album together, obviously besides uh, the, the, the Crib album, what would it be? One artist that you can you, you could collab with. Who would you who would you want to? Face short Q. One of them niggas. You know, unless you gonna give me cool J Rocky or McCain, you're gonna give me some shit like that. And I do my part, they do their part. Let's go. Mm. Alright, but if you had one. Nigga Chuck D, nigga. I do the dirty part. I do the dirty part, Chuck D do the other part. So you, I so, do the Grammy, so, Chuck D so you, do the you will replace Flavor Flav. No, nah, he's doing verses. I'm rapping on this. whole new part. It's a whole new. It's a whole new group. He's gonna do this shit. Flav gonna do know, the hook. Fight the power, nigga. You know. Them. Okay, what Get would up. the name of the group be called? JT Money and Chuck D. What was this? Chuck D or JT Money? It got to be something, something 360. It got to be something with the full circle. Poison right, enemy. Right. Like conscious, right. conscious. Poison enemy. Poisonous enemy. <laughs> po- poison is enemy. <laughs> poison is fucking hard, dude. Yeah. Poisonous enemy. Poisonous enemy. <laughs> Holy shit. I need it in 10% again. Public class. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to sign it to a major. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Chuck D, man. Listen, they had a picture with a loop. And, and, uh, Chuck, you know, I say, nigga, this is where I came from. Yeah. I, I told him, I posted it. I said, this is where I came from. Luther Campbell, Chuck D, there's all that uh, stuff in between, yeah, man. man. You seen Luke? Rapture. You seen Luke and um, Fat Joe was like, yeah, similar. about a trick. Yeah. Yeah. What you think about that? They, they handle it like they should, cause yeah. they, cause I, I was hoping they weren't gonna try to make it big, like it's no big motherfucking yeah. issue. Right. Yeah. Who said he say she say, mm. nigga the deal was done. Whoever got paid got paid. You know. Mm. Yeah, nigga. Ah, shit, nigga. I think I discovered uh, something. I discovered America, bitch. I was, <laughs> I was here first. I was here before. You say America? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I was here before. Let's make some noise, man. Discovering America. Hey, I was Yo, that should be the next name of your album. Yeah. JT discovers America. Yeah, that man, is hard. Right. And look like you got like, and Christopher <laughs> Columbus. Right. Say, like, like, fuck him. Yeah, gonna be my, yeah, my like, boss. Gonna fuck be Christopher boss. Columbus. And Jesus, be- I'm sorry. That, that yeah, sounded harsh. Like, you ain't never heard a nigga say fuck Christopher Columbus. This is crazy. <laughs> fuck him, fuck like, I'm going way too far. Yeah. I'm going way too far. Well, <coughs> we ain't fucking him, but I was here first, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But he got the credit. You know what I'm saying? Who you talking about, Luke? No, nah, Christopher, Christopher Columbus. Oh, Christopher Columbus. Oh, Columbus. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I was, yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's, speaking about Luke, before we get into quick time with Slime, what was y'all problem when, when y'all had a, a, a problem? Because you, like you said, you stuck yeah. around, you held, the, you held the ship, and then y'all eventually wound up. Well, everybody say the same thing. You know, um, it's always financial. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? One nigga getting the money, other nigga's pocket watching outside looking, feel like 
they should be getting more. Now, I don't know nobody deal. I don't know nothing. Like, my thing, me personally, mm -hmm. I was getting more money and I was getting the rest of my freedom. Mm -hmm. I didn't know the business, but I figured I was strong enough to learn. You know, I bumped, I bumped my head the whole way to, to this table today. Ain't nobody right. taught me shit. Right. I'm really trial and error, everything. Right. So, and then I look at Luke, right? Like, that line, part say, picture Jews being handed to an innocent child. Mm -hmm. Like, he don't know what he got in his hand. He don't know what it's going to be. It's just, it's just a diamond. He just put it in my thought around. Mm -hmm. It's a rock to him. He don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So that's how I look at him. The game was still fairly young. Mm -hmm. You know, you remember just a couple years before that, KRS was a rapper in the hole, ain't even 20 years old. Right. That was just a couple years before Luke. Right. Yeah, Luke was still learning. That's what I'm saying. The right. game was young. But everybody... But, I mean, I, I still think Nick could have split more money then. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think he could have shared some right. money. Because if, if, that, if that's all it takes for y'all not to tear up my house, here, nigga, it's the bag. Let's bust this bitch over and let's keep getting this money. Right. Unless I'm thinking small or I'm selfish and that nigga that's mine. Fuck y'all niggas off. Because I heard one time he tried to, like, you got in trouble and he hired, like, a $90,000 lawyer. He tried to. I wouldn't let him pay for that. Uh. But, oh, yeah. Shout out to Luke. Listen, I just get in trouble. Luke, come get you, man. <laughs> Luke, come get you. Yeah, Luke, come get you, man. Right. Luke, spend that money, come get you, man. <laughs> right, right. I don't got to tell anybody. I was like, listen, man, before every album went, came out, I You probably, got locked up. Yeah, I was. What the oh, fuck shit. is what the, what's was, going on? I don't know. I was a <laughs> young nigga, man. Young nigga, man. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? that bullshit. But uh -huh. Luke, come get you, though. But, Luke. but the Fed thing was, I was like, Nah, bro, that's not me. I ain't doing it. But when the feds come, you know they really got so I said, nigga, this time they ain't got shit. Right. Not, they didn't. So, you know. And you beat the case. Yeah, listen, I, I'm finna take it to trial, and it's time to go to trial. Like, came from the shit and the whole cell, and you go through that door to go into the courtroom, they let uh -huh. me out that door. I walk out there, my old girl got a, my mama got a bag of clothes. Wow. And I'm like, Wow. They had enough for me, and I was only locked up because I violated. I stopped back smoking. I was out on bond for a year, mm. and it's like, me motherfuckers ain't got nothing on me. Fuck y'all. Let me stop smoking. Mm. As soon as I, oh, it was Daytona Spring Break, Black Black Bee Week. So, you know. Black Biker Week? Yeah, Black Beach, Daytona. Oh, okay. And Freaknik was out there. It was oh, like a shit. week apart. Oh. So, you know, I'm going, but I had to piss every week. Uh. So, I came in this week and just dropped and left. I ain't wait on the Hulk. Right. I went up to <laughs> Freaknik. When I came back next week, they like they roped you up. Yeah, so I had to sit for, but I think trial was coming up about four, six months or something. I had to sit. Wow. But shit, nigga, they had nothing on me. You know, you could have got when we was used riding with him, and he, we, you had about three. I said, well, y'all should have did y'all job. Mm. He said, y'all had me in the car with three keys. That's you crazy, and y'all ain't get me. With three keys. Yeah, but this, yeah. Is, this is them. They think I'm the youngest nigga in the crew. Out of they thinking I'm finna talk about. Uh -huh. Like, listen, man, I wasn't getting none of that money. Them, they, I, them they just like to hang with me because I'm live. You know, <laughs> bitches like me. Uh -huh. They got the money. I got the fame or whatever the uh -huh. fuck it was. I get my own money. You know, some shit like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We was talking about putting the money in the rap game. Mm. Mm. Nigga, I'm selling no dope, nigga. Yeah. Like, me, I see some of the niggas today, and we be like, boy, we had all that money. Gee, I wish we knew then what we knew. I said, that's every old that's nigga favorite line. That's the way it always line. is. Yeah. Wait, 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 say that line if again? If we knew then what we yeah. knew now. Oh, yeah. That's every old. If you ask one of my kids, I say, I say what's every, every old nigga favorite line? They gonna say, if I knew then what I knew. I say, so if you listen to me now, nah, motherfucker, <laughs> you can be ahead of the game, because I'm only going to give you. Yeah. But I understand adolescence. I understand thinking they know it all. Listen, I, I ain't going to parent on y'all niggas, so we drinking. Okay. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Like, they, they always um, blame, like, our generation for not teaching the younger generation, yeah. right? But no. I'd be scared to embrace the younger generation, not to, not to think that they're going to embrace us back. Is, is that something that, I'm, I, that we're doing wrong? Is, how do you feel yeah. about well, embracing the saw. younger generation? I, I want to embrace them, but yeah. I don't want them to be like, you old nigga, you like, wait a minute. Yeah, no. nah, yeah, I mean, like, I'm talking about, like, you know, it. publicly, like, yo, and then they be like, you old nigga, like, wait a minute. Like, they're not going like, to respect wait, wait yeah, nah, you. When they call you OG, I, I'm, I'm, like, up and yeah. up with that. But sometimes I, I got to rhyme. I said, sometimes they call you OG, but they don't really mean it. They're just calling you old. You got to read in between it. You know what I mean? I felt that way before. First time when I came home, they started that unk shit. Uh -huh. I thought they were trying to make me old. <laughs> right. I'm like, fuck you, man. But then it's a sign of respect. Right, yeah, yeah. Like, cause yeah. me, I, I'm a beat. Okay, check. I'm a beat. But you know, I, I I don't let a young nigga get away, man. I, and I and I get it. You can't see your high, yeah. But picture me rolling, little nigga. Okay. You know, ask your, ask your uncles and your big brothers and you know what I'm saying. Whatever, nigga. But 
I'm, I'm gonna give you what I got for you. So don't think too much on that. Just get them young niggas that game. If they receive it, they do. Right. Leave them to war if they don't drink. Show them love. If they don't show it back, that's on yeah, them. Yeah, that's on them. Have you ever tried to like um, show some a young person love and they like kind of looked at you like whatever? No, but I've had real young and they ain't know who the fuck was talking to them or what I was talking about. Okay. But they was too young to even understand. But I had some, yeah, just remember this day. Because like 10 years from now, you're going to be like, damn. Yeah. That nigga, oh, that's that nigga. I said, I'm still be here. You know, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> just planting them seeds, man, on yeah. niggas there. Nah, real shit. Real shit. Want to do a quick time? Let's go. Up? All right, you set it off. You got to explain them the game. We always fuck uh -oh. up the explanation. You pick one answer out of two two names we give you. If you if you pick both and neither, we drink it. If you pick one, nobody drinks. So one we drink. We're giving you two things. Yeah. If I pick right. both, we both drink. Both and neither. You but gotta both pick and one. neither. Right, now so we drink. Pick one. Right. Yeah. All right. So you ready? You want, want to set it off? Ooh, I got yeah. this one. You got it. You got it. Go ahead. Tupac or DMX. Tupac. Okay. And DMX harder than a motherfucker, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to go to the next one? Oh, this is, we're going to drink. Scarface or Ice Cube? Can't do that. That's two different levels of gangster. Uh -huh. All right, all right, hold up. No, we can't do that. I'm we sorry. Drinking, we drinking, we drinking. Drink, man. All right, yeah. cheers, cheers. Give me a little shot. So then, I, well, we, then y'all owe me another because then you do Pac and DML. That's like the same vein. Oh, then you want to take a shot? Niggas, we, we can go back. Yeah, we We've never get, done this before. Yeah, we, we got to do two. Then I owe y'all yeah. one. Okay, okay. I like, I like that. I, I like that. Yeah, he about to drink the whole list. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, like well, yeah y'all sound like y'all got a hard one for me. <laughs> no, no, no. Because, mm. you know, it's certain that, like, Pac and DML, they had a reaction. Like, it was a certain reciprocation for them niggas on the street. Where they related. And I it's feel like, they had the same energy. Yeah, that energy. Until yeah, I got you. that third light tatted on my chest. It's like they identified, yeah. the niggas identified with that. Mm -hmm. Right. That thug right. in me. That's that. Thug. Yeah, so, uh, all right, so I, I did yeah. my other one. Okay. <laughs> Ready? All right, next one. Coco's or Rolex? Ooh. I'm a Rolex, dude. Okay. Go ahead, Nori. Luda or T.I.? What? Luda T.I. what? Whatever. It's whatever it is to you. <coughs> I'm like, over them niggas. Ask me about Outkast and Goody Mom. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That, that's we, a good shot. Up. I messed up, I like messed shot, up yeah. didn't I? Yeah. I've been messing up everything. Gotta take a shot now. I messed up everything. My bad. Um, all right. So it's anything. It ain't about yeah, lyrics, whatever rap. you want. It could be anything. Like who I choose. Whatever your criteria is. Yeah, whatever your criteria is. All right, you ready? We, we you said both for them, right? Yeah, yeah. Get to shot. Shit, both. I guess. <laughs> ah. All right, I got this one. And I'll get the next one. Because the next one is definitely you. Yeah. Take one or the office. Time period. Like once upon a time, that one was self mill, but the office today. Take one is legendary. You're right, that's what I'm saying. As a time. And that's, and that's, that's before EJ took the, over. The jukebox take one. Yeah, let me do the office. Uh, I mean, do the office. No, 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 he's not drinking. He said the yeah, office. I'm going to do the office. Oh, you're going to do the office? Yeah. Okay, okay. No, you don't need to. All right, now you got to do this. Shout out to my brother on, man. All right. Pack Jam or Studio 183? Pack Jam, man. Right. And I'm from 183. Yeah. Miami Nice. Yeah, but Pack Jam, man. Pack Jam, okay. Get the stuff, DJ. Mm -mm. Yeah, boy. Now, I feel like I, I got the right to ask this one. Booby Trap or K.O.D.? The late night booby trap, the one on the river? That's the one? You talking about the one out there way better? You know the one we talking about. K.O.D., man. Oh! I'm taking a <laughs> shot for just that one. I thought you were going to pick boo -boo. I was, but I ain't sure. You say you know it's one. Okay. By uh, the river? The river, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. 24 uh, hours, baby, late uh, night. Yeah, yeah. We might well shoot confused, again. I'm taking a shot for being confused. Right, me too. Uh, yeah, yeah. We might well shoot because we confused. <laughs> so you giving me all the good shit, yeah, yeah, man. No. It's like, man, all right, I, I'm a junkie. He's like, nigga, you want crack? You want heroin? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit, give me no. both. Right. Let me tell you why. Cause, and what KOD we talking about? We talking about the Costco's KOD? All right, the big one. The, the big one, because that can confuse him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That should just be too big. You well, don't know what to do. Like you be searching, you be so you be taking five minutes to walk around and, and they say a bathroom and they say a, and they right point now. you to another exit, right. and another exit. You like Jesus, this right. shit is like really walking through Costco's. 
<laughs> Costco. It's just butt naked motherfuckers. I'm, I'm gonna add one to this. All right. Um, Sugar Hill DJs or ghetto style DJs? I'm drinking of that, man. Sugar oh, Hill is oh. my family. Ghetto style is my family. Right. If you could have right. said any other name, As we, we here to drink. And I'd right, yeah, have picked one. I gotta other. ask. How the fuck did you lose your voice? Oh, I had a flu for like three weeks. <laughs> Or are you just telling us now? <laughs> hey, man, I got that wasn't, It was the flu. That wasn't cool at all. Hey, it was the flu. The flu. <laughs> not the flu. It was the flu. I was not ready. I cut the word regardless. <laughs> I respect that. Oh, oh wait, we got a drink. He said both. I did. I drank. Uh -oh. She took my cup away. Uh, okay. Now nah, you got the next one. Uh, Gunplay or Briscoe? No, you skipped. Not, oh. For all right, don't we can go back? Huh? We can go backwards. Okay, my bad. You can, you can have those both. Gunplay or Briscoe? Damn, th those are those guys right there that made the crushes up, not me. That's <laughs> 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 my dog. Back. That's it. I mean, them. Thank you. Because they got to be on the crib album too. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I drink okay. to that. Salute. Shout out Triple C's and Paul. Why you ain't on Love and Hip Hop Miami? They don't like me. Mm. <laughs> nah, I don't know, though. You know what I'm saying? Come on, let's talk about it. They're going to see this. Yeah, they're going to see it. They're going to see this. Let's talk about it. All right, it. you well, could be in Atlanta, too. They don't know. Are you yeah. living in Atlanta, though? Nah, not no more. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I did my little time up there. Ooh. Back to the crib. Okay. Yeah, but uh, them people don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? It, uh, what I learned in the day's culture is all algorithms and, you know, hotness on the... You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm I'm in the DNA of motherfuckers. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm in a nigga's right. Yeah. Ah, chill, Jay. Okay. <laughs> we already answered the um the uh gunplay. Um, yeah. Briscoe. He he took a shot too at it. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Um. What Briscoe got this song that I love? Bitch on me, bitch on me, bitch. On me. Yeah, that's my song. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, mansion or cameo. That's a good one. Dang, I had cool. fun in both of them. I think I think um by the time I got up though, I think Mansion was it because they gave me all the love. Okay. Like when Cameo was popping, I probably was a little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And then by the time I got up, the Mansion was oh JT money, come on, boy. Yeah, Mansion man, just get Mansion. I drink just cause of that now. No, no, hold on. No, 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 no relax. No, no. We got no, no. a lot. We got a long list. Oh. You got you the one before that? No, you got to do that. That's Pitbull or Flow Rider? I love both of them. I'm drinking of that. I love both of them right dudes. Now. I already know where we gonna end up. I'm like, gonna like really love these guys. Like, nah, both of them. Yeah, you love niggas. <laughs> All right. Carol Mar or USA Fleet? Mm. I'm from Carol Mar, you know, but I hung at the USA. But Carol Mar, man, that's my hood, man. Okay. All right. Honey <laughs> Thirsty Fleet Market. Before it was Carol Mart. Honey yeah. Thirsty Fleet Market. You we got, got, it. We got, we got it. the US, the US one fleet market down south. Yeah. Huh? You got to ask this one. Which is, a, oh, Trick or Ross? <laughs> Your people is protecting you. <laughs> Yo, any time is when they're like, drink, nigga. They sacrifice your liver for the relationship. Yeah, for, for, the for relationships, and I respect that. Trick That's a good a team. Look, no. I'm with them. That's a good we team. We have to throw a penalty oh, yeah. flag over there. Stop no, 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 no. Right, right. no. No, but I, I do want to <laughs> think about it. We're going to end up drinking anyway. <laughs> all right. But over the niggas, my brothers, though. You all right? Hello? Now? Yeah, I love all, all my right. brothers. All right. <laughs> all right now. NWA or Wu Tang Clan? Damn, man. Because, you know, I was on that NWA shit, but then when that first Wu came out, all right, boom, the first Wu album, when it was all them niggas. Like, Six Chambers. Yeah, anything after that, I ain't show too much. You know, like when niggas come in, they come in raw, mm -hmm. and then everybody get famous and do all the shit. And mm -hmm. shit. So, but that NWA was NWA. They was consistent. NWA. Dre had I respect boys. that. Dre had them boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. The Source or XXL? Probably the sauce. We we don't go with probably it's the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce. Sauce. Man. Okay, I respect that. I have friends over though. Okay. MTV raps or rap city? That's a good one. MTV 
MTV Rap's the beginning, right? That's the beginning yeah. of the culture. Rap yeah. City is when they start pop tune, you know. Well, well, Beauty Music Box and the Box was before um, right. um, right. Yo MTV right. Raps. And we had the Box was down and here. The box was the down. Box. Yeah. It was in yeah. Miami, right? Yep. yep. So did I answer the question? I ain't nope. answer the question. You didn't answer the question at all. <laughs> Yo MTV Raps, Rap City. So we're Rap City with Joe Claire and them niggas. Joe Claire, damn. Big All right, a lot of people say Big Tigger. I like the fact that you went to Joe Claire. So I go from the beginning. And, and Big Les. Let's Big not forget Les, Big Les. Right. I go from Let's the not beginning. Big Les. You know, I'm a, I'm a uh, sorry, rap. Big Les. See, when, right, when Pippin' on Wack was out, I'm gonna take a shot. I don't even know when to take a shot. I'm in. I'm in. We gotta be high. Unnecessary shot. Unnecessary shot. Mm-hmm. We don't even know where we picked. We picked the culture. That's it. Yeah, check, man. All right. Tootsies or Cheetahs? Nice. I'm, I'm gonna go with Tussies though, around the corner, and the fried lobster and all that shit. Fried lobster. Five star show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people say Lemon Pepper invented in Tootsies. I really don't know. Rumor has it, Lemon Pepper invented in Tootsies. Lemon Pepper wings? Yeah. I don't know about that. So the seasoning that's out now, they just invented that? Yeah, I don't know. That sounds a little crazy to me. I don't know. This is y'all rumor. Uh, they made it popular. Not, Maybe they made yeah, it popular. Yeah, probably, to people yeah. from out of town. All yeah, right. Maybe. Well, nigga, I ain't heard of lemon pepper. The Ross say lemon pepper my wing. What, nigga? What is that? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, that not no South shit? That's not y'all shit? Y'all ain't well, man, South shit is conk. Conk shit is mangoes. I, you I know what I'm saying? Conk fritters. Yeah, conk fritters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kodak Black or Ball Greasy? Wow. Greasy, my little brother. Yeah, I think Yak the young goat, man. Yeah. Me personally. That's just my own thing. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I just think he. He's in the interview where he said, "Man, I like fly, like like time, like fly, like fly, like she, like." She. <laughs> right, right, right. I and said, that, "I love this nigga." That brother, why well, I like him do shit like that? Though. He like, I man. said, I don't understand nothing, yeah. but for some but reason, I understood it. everything. You, right, yeah. check. What's yeah. understood ain't gotta be explained. Yeah. It's like, yeah. mm, that's one of our people, though. He All got right. that shit. All right, so we went where we answered the question. Now this one not... right here, you gonna might have to drink. <laughs> Rock him or KRS One. The art, man. Okay. So I love the teacher. my question there. Uh. Rakim or Big Daddy Kane? And both of them niggas is me. Because you got one nigga like this, and you got the other nigga like <laughs> this. Yeah, yeah. Battle of the gods, nigga. Mm. Let me figure this out. I'm here. I'm still the art, though, man. You know, still he, was the the problem. he was the closest to the dope boy. He was the closest to... The niggas I was seeing, like... You talking about Rakim? Yeah, Rakim. The niggas I looked up to was more him than okay. Kane. And he like, never I like Kane, you know, but the niggas I looked up to, like, the R. Okay. But that's crazy that he never cursed Rakim in his verses. That's yeah. wild. And it was really? hard as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Hard as fuck. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Luke or Master P? Luke Campbell, man. Okay. But I love P today, though. P B yeah, changed P everything. P doing, yeah. Luke changed everything, but, and then P changed yeah. after that. But Luther Campbell, man, you know, thank, I thank God for Luther Campbell. All right, you got, you got the next two. Queen Latifah or MC Light? I'm going to go with Light. Next three you got. Next four. Jesus Christmas. Billy Blue or Iceberg? Bird, one of my favorite niggas, period. And I love Blue. Bird. All right, let me just say something. So, I'm, <laughs> nah, nah, Berg and Mike Smith was like my favorite young niggas out of the crib. Oh, you yeah, know, like my favorites. Them two niggas. The crib. Yeah, from the crib. I'm going to take a regular drink, being that we ain't drinking. <laughs> Piccolo or Grime Mode? I love both of them. Bro, you saying Piccolo the group or Deathlock Piccolo? Let's say the group. Let's go to the group. We're going to take a shot. I drink them both. Because right yeah. when you say death lock, I, I ride with that nigga every day. When you say death lock, I ride with this guy every day. Okay. Go ahead. You got the last one, too. Pole boy or slip and slide? Slip and slide. We got the last two more. <laughs> I'm taking it from the DJs. Now, I'm, I'm going to change this one, though. Is it 99 Jams or Power 96? 99 Jam. E class or Ted Lucas? Ted. Ted. Is that Ted? Yeah, might, yeah, I know he since school, but um, me and Ted did business. Me and he ain't do no business. We love each other. We hug each other. He called me Jeffrey, but nigga, we ain't did no business. Me and that nigga did business. Mm. 
fell? <laughs> Check. Look at y'all over there. <laughs> So-called drink sounds best drink. <laughs> I'm gonna do the last loyalty and respect. Do everything else. All right. DJ Khaled or DJ Epps? Epps personal with me. That's like my guy. Okay. You know how you think Epps was Spanish? I ain't know that nigga was a soul. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. know that nigga was that. Yeah, he from my way, from Hector. Light skin, red ass nigga. I'm, <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna give you one more DJ Khaled or DJ Nasty? The Miami DJ Nasty. Uh, the Miami man. DJ. Come on, Nasty, my God. Nasty just said my part. I don't hate Khaled. I love Khaled, but I'm but saying like you talking to me personal Khaled, no people. matter what. No, no I think he's just talking about like, say, I'm outside of looking in and yeah. looking out. Right. Say inside of looking out. It seems like he's speaking Cali. I'm just being honest. Yeah, say Cali, right, pre Cali. Just say Cali yeah. and anybody somewhere else. And I'm going to say Cali, but you say Nasty or Epps. Right. You know what I'm saying? You say Uncle Al, you say. Rest in peace, Uncle Chico. Yeah, I'm like, hey, man. Yeah, that's me. That, all that shit does me. Okay. So, which leads you to. Uncle Al. Sl Slick Vic or Disco Day. Man, mm -hmm. John Pawn and Disco Day, man. That's my shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mix CDs, nigga. Clay D, Gucci Crew. That ain't him. Uh, I'm going to do Clay D, though, because he had them phones, man. Okay. Clay D, yeah. Go ahead. And I love you guys do Uncle Al. And then I oh. do the Uncle Al. Uncle Al or Jam Pony Express. I mean, putting one DJ against the whole crew, but I know where you're going. Right. All right, we talking about the CDs? Because Sam Pony got way more harder CDs and older funk. Al is another generation. But nah, Al is my guy, you know how I feel. Yeah. But Sam Pony, nigga, that, that's the culture, man. That's right. where all that shit come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't heard nobody rock the mic like Vic them before Vic them. Mm. I don't care who they is or who they say they are. Yeah, that's something different. Sam Pony. Master that shit. Yeah. Like, you picture Disco Day, his thing was mean time, echo, slow down. Right. That was his thing. But when that it comes like to that. First, um, was yeah. that um, um, what, chopped and screwed? Chopped and screwed. screwed. Yeah, right, slow down, right. But we didn't have him chopped and screwed, we just had him slow down. Slow down. We didn't do the tech, tech, tech. Right. Yeah. But these crews, they all sped it up. And right. cut the music out and did rhymes. This is cocaine. Right. Y'all get, get it up. Yeah, no, that, that, but that's what it is, really. If you think yeah. about it, it's, it's the speed it's of Miami. Take it down. Yeah, speed. Cocaine, y'all go up. We, I know what's going see, on. You ever seen your video up on there and they got a chipmunk uh -huh. version of your video? Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. yeah. they got running y'all out there, chipmunk yeah. version. Yeah. Yeah. They will turn a Michael Jackson song into a bass record. They got it. Let's sample that motherfucker. They got it. Yeah, shit got real. This is the last question. Everyone thinks it's a trick question. Me and EFN does not. Loyalty or respect? That I prefer or that I give? That's a good question. Damn, nobody ever put it, put it back. Because they don't hear y'all. They think it's a trick question. See, yeah. I, I, How about whichever way you want to answer it? Loyalty or respect? I think the respect going to draw the loyalty. If you respect somebody, you respect it, you will be loyal to it. But if you loyal to something, then you later on don't respect it. You're going to be like, fuck that nigga. I'm going to get him. I think. Like, just say mm. I'm being loyal to the set right now, then I figure out the set ain't the set that I thought it was. Mm. I, I lost respect for the set, so therefore I'm going to lose my loyalty, right? Mm. But I respect something and I ain't committed yet. I am tend to get loyal to it because I respect it, because that shit stays solid. All the time. Sounds like a shot to me. Sound like a shot yeah, to me. Sound like a shot. I think respect. <laughs> that makes loyalty, sense. Loyalty is a tattoo. Loyalty is a tattoo to these niggas. Yeah, a, a this quote, nigga that makes sense to both of them, and I was with him on both. That's why you got to dig it. Yeah. I, I got one more. Shot. He actually he said one and turned it into both. Mm. Right, man. I'm taking yeah, a, I'm a hashtag. Taking, this is the first time we ever did this. I'm taking a double shot. I'm with because, you, brother. Because that fucked me up. You approved one side, and then you uh, approved the then other Then we can side. see it, right? We, we, just, we put it all on the scale. We're going to make it make sense. Okay. You going to take a double shot with me, though, right? Yes, Look, brother. All right. I don't want to be outside by myself. And, and you too, right, sir? Yeah, I'm a little chico. All right, cool. How did mines get double shot? Like, when I meant double shot... Because you meant, put ice in it, bro. No, I meant double shot. Yeah, bro. It's double shot. Can, can we do that one time? This yeah. is it. You want to do shot. This is my last shot. You don't want a double shot? I'm with you, man. All right, cool. Shit, I'm gonna go with you. That ain't a double shot, though. That's definitely a single shot. I'm, I'm, Let's load them up. Right. No, load I'm with them. you, brother. Huh? Oh, yeah, I got that. I got that, yeah. I'm gonna set it up. When I say go, then you go. 
Salo. 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 Cheers, cheers. I'm still with you. Salo. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been waiting to do this. Make Norman J. Taylor. But I asked you who you would do a versus with. Yeah. I mean, there's one more record that we would have to hear on verses immediately that's going to crush everyone's bones. Let's go, Mr. Lee! No, that all right, that was my New York shit. All Yo. right, remember that A.A.O., all right? Yo, but another that thing that... was my New York that, shit. Another <laughs> thing that we listening to, um, and a lot of people pointing this out to me, they kind of said, this is, this, is, this is not us. They kind of said that Juvenile kind of borrowed your style. Uh-huh. I, I heard that before, but I, I love Juvenile, too. Yeah. I, that, and that's all I'm going to say about that, because I'm a fan of it. But I, I've heard that before, but, yeah. you know. And um, he ain't got nothing but love and respect. Now, he ain't never Dude, came good. and say, Jay, boy, you know, I, uh, he ain't say it, so I ain't going to say it to him. But, right. but, but have you ever listened to it and, and, and felt like a little bit of your influence in there? Well, like immediately, like we was going through the discography. As soon as we heard it, someone said, "Juvenile got that shit from him." Like immediately, I'm mean, big up the juvenile. Uh, he, he's, he's a. I, I can legend. say that, but he's I got another thing how I do it. Like certain records, I hear from certain people. I be like, "See, that nigga made that shit for me." I mm. say he had that J Spirit on him when he did that, because mm. I feel that shit. Like it's certain records, different artists making. I be like, "Ooh, I, I, I had to be right there with him because mm. this shit feel too and, good and to mind me." Mind and spirit, yeah, uh-huh. it feel right. So mm. some kind of way, we. Mm. <laughs> so it wasn't about. Cause you know we all really grow off each other, right? Y'all right. know we, we influence off right, right? But so with me, I'm asking like you, I invented the wheel. Go, let me just go. Yeah, just go. Take Did you off. ever ever feel like it though? No, well, not. I've, I've heard it a couple of times, but I never okay. felt like. Oh, okay. that nigga bit my. I never okay. felt that. All right. No. I felt like uh, he doing. It. But now I have been. Uh, Comments under my shit, like, oh, nigga trying to sound like Juvenile. Like, they want to say, oh, those they who say only heard Juvenile, they ain't never heard me. Oh, <laughs> they want to say, oh, nigga trying to This is a fucked know. up world. We look at this. You know, I don't do it, dog. Yeah. Like, Twitter fingers, chin, chicken finger. What you say, nigga? Mm-hmm. Fuck, nigga, pussy, nigga, what you talking about? <laughs> right, 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 right. Fuck, nigga, pussy, nigga, pussy, nigga. But I, I can't do that shit, though. Yo, hit that who that one more time. Hit that who that one more time. Come on, man. Hit that who that yeah, one more time. Play the whole verse until the yeah. next chorus. See, that's, that's oh, how you know that. no one else is an artist here. You play the, the verse until the next chorus. Right, you right, ever right. met Biggie? No, that's the only one I didn't meet. Oh. And I went to this, I went I this first show in Miami. I went to his first show on Miami. The one at the Mahi Temple? Mahi Temple. I was there. You I was there? Yeah. What about 10 of us in the building? Yeah, yeah. And, and the uh, gangster shorties open up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was back there. Good job, Miami. Yeah. Yo, they came to the Who came to the first show yeah. there, too? Mahi yeah. Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Where was that at? Coconut this Grove? Thing, nah, that's in North Miami somewhere right here. Okay. This thing up was big. You know what I'm saying? Hit that one more time. What happened? Please. He don't know how to re- read the instructions in English. Yeah. <laughs> Play it in Dominican. I'm talking about, what is bullshit party, party and bullshit? Party, party and bullshit. And yeah. bullshit. That was the song. See, party I was doing that shit. And bullshit. But the niggas. Honey in the back looking right. The niggas is right. They were <laughs> All right, now. I got to act straight up now. Act straight up about the other y'all. Sure. What kind of drugs was in this session? <laughs> Listen. That's not a normal not record, a, brother. That was just monster. It was the energy, man. Mm. But I did hear a story that I, I thought I thought my story was the version, but the producer was on somebody else's show and said another version of the story. And I'm like, hmm, I don't well, remember well, that Because I heard that they tried to get us a TLC. Oh, yeah, now I said that. Okay. But Tony Mercedes came to me and said, yeah, man, they heard, like, they had, they used to, uh, LaFace used to take their label out on the cruise or whatever. Uh-huh. You know, yearly thing. Yeah. And Tone was like, you know, me and Tone was working. He said, I let him play all that shit, that, you know, what's coming up for the next year. He said, yeah, I waited. And I played your shit, Jay. The boat went crazy. Uh, uh, uh. And the nigga was like, damn, Tone, what's over that record? Again. And the and nigga in L.A. was said, man, just get that nigga 50000 or something. And I was like, nigga, fuck that. I don't know motherfucking 50000 Bitch, that's my okay, let's record. Let's just think about it, though. Yeah. Let's think about 
had you took that fifty thousand, right? TLC would have been spending. Who the who the who the who? I don't know how it would have went. That would have been so crazy. Not even say what's up. Don't fuck, go, go change. You should have done a remix with them on it. Ah yeah 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 yeah. It would have been the biggest. <laughs> it's it's it possible. I ain't gonna lie. What you on the record? I don't know. So what? I, I would have just did the hook. But see, no, now, no, now you no. weren't getting that. the verse. No, nah, this forever has to be his record. Yeah, but you what they're not saying. I'm asking. On the remix I'm, it does. I'm asking. What if, we, what if you would have just gave it away? What, what if, I what? don't know. We would have had to see. What right. if I would have? I'd have had 50000 Right. Nah, but you. But I already got, got a hundred from him. Listen, I already got a hundred from him. Right. I don't need the other fifty. Right. You know what I'm saying? So how does this happen? They they own a boat. They play the record, and then they come to you and say that. LA no, e I wasn't there. I know. When the nigga came back, your tone said, "Yeah, boy, I played your shit, and it went crazy." And uh, man, uh, I just had to ask. I knew you was gonna say that because I was like, so man, they, fuck they that. come to you and say, "Uh, we give you fifty thousand for the whole record," but you, you. Well, he told him to say that I want that record, and he's mm -hmm. like, "Man, this can't do. That's the man record." And you just get a nigga 50000 or something, man. Just a, I'm like, boy, I wish I was there for that conversation. Wow. <laughs> no, nigga, how about 50 million? Let's talk about it. You want it that bad, At nigga? least a million. Come here, man. At least, least I would have grabbed that nigga, you know what I'm saying? You would have gave him the whole record. If Listen, man, I would have promised the bitch uh, uh, 100000 <laughs> right. Come here, bitch, I need you to do something for me. Right. I'm going to give you 100000 I'm going to get 50 million from this nigga. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Not to be styled. I'm just... I'm just I'm drink challenge, man. I'm drinking. I'm, dr I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking. I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking, man. All right. I'm drinking, man. I'm drinking. So let's get back to making the record, right. though. Yeah. Y'all in the studio. This beat plays. No, we hang out the night before. Okay. Out there. Uh, now, this is my version of the story. We hanging out, and, you know, we got to set up. You know what I'm saying? This before making it rain and all that. But we got bottles. We got pictures. You know, we in the club. Uh, um, what club in Atlanta, is right? It was called the Gentleman Club back right then in Atlanta. Okay. It wasn't right, that right downtown by the Marriott Marquis. Right I think it used to be Club, well, that was what, club 112 as well? Was that? No, no Club 112 was the regular 112, club. Yeah, but this okay. Gentleman Club. Okay, Gentleman. GC. But um, we left. We left that motherfucker about 3, 4, 5 in the morning. All I know is a nigga called me. I think I got home about 5 in the morning. Nigga called me about 9 o'clock like, Sport you got to get back to the studio, man. We got this record, man. We, uh -huh. So I jumped my ass up. We get there, and that's what they had on the thing. They had the hook. They had the ay 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 part. You know, I just added my harmonies and Wait, plans. Wait, so you walk in, in, the beat is playing ay 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 ay. Yeah, well, they, they no who doing, that, no who that. Yeah, none of that was done yet. It was just the ay ay ay. But they had the it, it wasn't done right. He had, a, I guess, he had the idea because I remember building it. You know, like demo it's, it's certain, right. yeah, certain voices that's not that's in there now that Go wasn't there. Get your memory I'm hit it back. Because it's you. Get, get yeah, your man. memory back. Let's get. Let's make. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Motherfucking JT, motherfucking money, motherfucking legend out this motherfucker. Look, got that, I got that live resin there. You gonna be fucked up. I'm throwing it out there. Right. <laughs> I, I anticipated. I, I anticipated. That's his know? dirty. <laughs> yeah. But, I anticipated. But. So um, you in the studio? Right. He only got the I I I. No. And how, how do you put this together? What, what, what's the first thing that comes to your mind, Do you, if you remember? Well, we were talking about the night before. Because mm -hmm. when while we hanging out, we got all this going, it was just different dudes coming around. And I could remember, well, who that? That's your man? Who that? That's your, who that is? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm thinking they got the idea from, because I remember these conversations oh, the night before. So who that? So who that? That's your man? Because yeah. <laughs> we, we, we like this. Our setup look like this. Oh, that's your yeah, oh. Cause now there are these new people. You know, it was four cars with us riding. Right, right. But now the nice game was somebody 14. that wasn't invited. Who that? Yeah, they just starting to come up. <laughs> they coming up. They moving in, but they moving in. You know, Holy it's like the bitches. They just say you know how many people come around us and we don't know who that who they is. Yeah, right. we don't and that's know what who that was. I should have made a song so, too. Yes. Damn it. This Take some it. Genius shit. Take it to the next level. Y'all do it to the next level. Listen. So when they was like, yeah, who that? And I'm thinking that's where, <laughs> where we going. Who the, who the. So that's why my verses was, well, who that off brand? Like, we're on the, trying to hang with the click. Yeah. Flodging like you came with the click, but would you bang with the click if it was thick? Or do you just ride dick? Cause play, I don't know you, nigga. Tell me who you with. If you Clearly, ain't with the squad, guys, you bound to get scarred. I was today suck years old when I yeah, realized suck a boy running my, my head. Niggas run the yard over around my here. head. Cause it's us. Oh. I, I know us. And I'm, yeah. in my mind, it's us against everything else right, going right, on. Right, right. But so now when, 
how is he so comfortable that close to you? Like, so what's that? That's your guy. That's, like, you know what I'm saying? Who that? Yeah, who that? So, what, you know, we got to lean on niggas or turn our backs and protect our shit. You yeah. know, like, whatever we doing. <laughs> but that, way, that way I was at. I don't yeah. know where nobody else was with it, but that way I was with it. That shit that was born the night before. That, yeah, the night before. That's great. Four hours of sleep, three hours of sleep. I'm finna go to sleep and like, Jay, bro, you got to come back, but we got this record. But see, now, boom, Tricky got a version of the story. He said he been had that beat. And Ooh. he done tr tricked Stewart, the one who produced it. Okay. He said he been had that beat, and he done tried all kind of different robbers on it, but it ain't come out right until we did it. Mm. Now, I ain't know nobody in the world ever heard that beat before. I thought this night happened. We had a good night. You went to the studio, couldn't sleep. <laughs> Got on that shit mm. and called mm. me back. Mm. That's my version of it. You know what I'm saying? His version is he gave it to... Yeah, well, he ain't give nobody shit. If he fucking with them, they come through, okay. they let them drop. But if they ain't snap, I guess he gonna erase it or Not delete it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't that bitch and make it mine. You know, I'll show you what that pussy form. made for. Give me that pussy. Give me that pussy, girl. <laughs> the drink towns, baby. I'm just drinking. I'm just drinking, baby. Drink towns, baby. I'm just drinking. <laughs> So, hey, somebody came in with an extra quick time with slime. Okay. They said, Mad Ball or Uzi? Wow. Big Ram. Boom! On them niggas' ass. Where he at? <laughs> Mike Fresh, motherfucker. <laughs> Dead with drugs. Nigga, Mike Trigger, nigga. <laughs> that niggas ain't slick. What, what's all the, mem name all the, the members? Name all the members. Poison huh? Clan. Name all the members. Devil in the drugs, Mad Ball, Uzi, Big Round, Mike Fresh, JT Money. But then you had Shorty, then you had Trigger. You know, these are the non rapping members, right. you know, this is more faculty. Then you had little branches of where it was Chain Gang or CLB, like all of this out our hood, but they their own crew, you know what I'm saying? Matt, Matt was with them niggas at first, but then he was like, fuck that shit, bitch, I'm Poison Clan. <laughs> That's before we think plan. Yeah, yeah, this is predates, of course. Yeah. This is E9. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Nine. Actually, right. I don't know when if, right. if they were saying no, Wu Tang Clan over I'll... there before we heard it. You know. Okay. Yeah. You're right. right. But I had heard Poison Clan before. When y'all heard Wu Tang Clan? I'm saying 92? 92, 93. Yeah. Oh, I was on my second album. Finna be the third yeah. one by then. All right. Poor... Well, when, All right, when, when did Wu Tang officially come out? Let me. No, 92, 93. Let me tell you the uh, the, only, the other clan who I was like, if, if Luke would have dropped this in 89, because remember, we had to wait a year because Professor Griff came down with the controversy of post. Oh, yeah, X clan, right. Because right. we were the poor clan. This for the red, yeah. the black, and the, the green. green. Yeah. What's the key? Sissy. You sissy. Yes, man. And Professor Griff Brother came from Brother J. Brother J. is young. Brother no J. No one guarded for us three right here. Yeah. yeah. Brother J, man. <laughs> Brother J, man. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm on Push It Pad No in 93. Mm. Check out the album, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and did you know that? Professor Griff from Public Enemy was signed to Luke Records? Hell no. Yeah, yeah. I was so, today so we years had to old wait a year. And I found that. Like, I Because yeah. Professor to go. Grip was going to come yeah. out before you. Uh, what was he going to do? Like, the he was going, like the, I could sell more records. His speech. name, his name. Yeah, but remember, he had some controversy that, the controversy, that, that Luke was the only one that would take him would in. would take him, because yeah. Luke yeah. Yeah. He was like the first Kanye. Yeah, yeah. Right. For lack of a better the term. Kanye. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I went too far. I mean, it's accurate. True story. It's accurate. All right. Yeah. In terms of what Let's was going change on. Let's the subject. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> so Moving on. So that happened, though. Yeah, so. It did, it did. Yeah. So we waited a year, but that was the only other clan. I was like, damn, nigga, what? Like, and we can't even say, oh, they heard us, and then they made up the whatever clan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so you trying to say... Because it wasn't no clans. At one point, y'all thought that the Wu-Tang Clan... No, you saying X-Clan. No. Oh, X-Clan. So we yeah. No, no, we no, didn't no. say. I said we couldn't place. say it. Okay. Like we couldn't say. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, far in our world, there wasn't no other clans. Right. It wasn't no, no other clans. Mm. But then, what time? When the X Clan came out? I think they record came before us. Definitely ours, like eighty eight. Because we had to wait. Or oh, eighty seven. I think eighty nine. Because we had to wait. Eighty nine. Yeah, we had to wait that year. Eighty nine, right? right? So it was around yeah, the same so time. It would have been 89, right. So I couldn't say, oh, them niggas. But again, we was into that music, so we liked that shit anyway. Right. With the kids. <laughs> but did y'all notice how they took all that music away from us, though? Well, you can't even download that. No, yeah, but just all that type of game, just the difference yeah. of yeah. of us, all our different right. shades and hues of 
wherever we at in this. You now it's kill, kill, kill people music. Yeah, man. There's no Crazy. diversity in there. Let's right? sell our dope nigga and our clothes nigga. And, you know what I'm like saying? Even, even, even y'all, like when I'm doing the research, you always had that bass like as a first single. Yeah. And then you had some, the, some, the, the, some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, some, yeah. And then even just the process of making an album, we tried to have a record like this. Now we need something like this. Now we need something like this. Now we need... It wasn't... Whatever that single was, you do 10 of those and try to make 10 of those same records. Yep. That's proof they don't give a fuck. They're just like, man, if that shit work, keep doing that. Right. Don't be no artist. Don't try to express yourself. Don't try right. to be creative, nigga. This yep. is what works. Stick to the script. Right. That's the game. So it's easy for a nigga... All right, picture the hoe. If she all she gotta do is bend over and no show no emotion, she gonna get her money. Oh, I ain't never even seen. Yeah, her. Like this. right. Picture the you, you get you understand what I'm saying? Just like uh, uh, okay, okay, my forty dollars. Yeah, uh, 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 I'm get my forty dollars. You know, but it doesn't matter. It's easy, <laughs> but, but but if you're a motherfucker with some integrity and dignity, if you if you if I'm an artist and I'm serious about my shit, if you some Erica Badu nigga, y'all yeah. remember that line? You gotta be hip hop to know this. Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm serious about my shit, but yeah. <laughs> if you like that, it's like, oh man, I hate you, but don't nobody want to hear that. How you know what the fuck they want to hear? Right. Cause we sold this on you last time. Mm. But Bill, who to say I can't sell this today and this tomorrow? Right. And whatever, <laughs> man. I don't know, but it's the game. I understand business. I ain't no hater of business. But, you know, I like freedom. But, of course, independent, I like independent because if I wake up one day and decide I want to slide to the left, <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Slide to the right. If I can do that. One step, two Chris step. Grow, right? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Whatever works. You know, because you don't know what's... Listen, man. All right, you shooting at me, you throwing rocks at me. If I just keep going around, all you going to do is keep hitting me, right? Right. <laughs> I got a fake one time, a duck or something, right? The fuck they think this shit, man? It's real life, man. <laughs> so let me ask you, right? Because I thought I made the best skit of all time. Animal Thug? Animal Thug. And then today I found out that Hold up. some people Animal say... Animal Thug, what, what? That better be what, 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 what? No, 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 no. That's a different thing. No, oh, it's about, the the it's, it's about you. It's about you. It's about you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just about Oh, because now I got a story about right, that record on, right there. <laughs> so somebody that. told me today... You have one of the best skits of all time. So I had to go research it. Do you know what skit I'm talking about? Why must I chase the cat? That's what they say. What does it say? Yeah, so it says. Why must I chase the cat? Yeah, best see, skit of that's all the time. feedback I've been getting. Yeah. Now let's make some noise for that. Come on. Yeah. Come on, come on. Uh, and I actually made that. So you, you heard this rumor. You understand yeah, that, that actually, there's a possibility in the whole game of rap, you might have made the best skit of all times. You know that? Nah. Well, I, 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 well, they say I was good at it. They say, Jay, you don't do that shit no more. Why you do it? I say, y'all ain't listening to that no more. Y'all yeah. listen to a single. The first 10 seconds of a record. The first <laughs> 30 seconds. That's all y'all want to hear. Y'all don't want to hear what led to the record no more. Right. Mm. The skit era was dope. Excuse me, about that pimp and hoe shit. Yeah. You don't even want your pussy wet. You just want to get hit, bitch. <laughs> nah, I'm sorry, man. Forgive me, y'all. I'm sorry, man. Drink champ. Sonny, Sonny get flashbacks. Drink, flash <laughs> Drink champ. But nah, but y'all get what I'm but saying. Like, yeah. Foreplay. Okay, forget the word. Just no foreplay. <laughs> foreplay. How about that? That's cleaner? <laughs> I like you your first answer. You can say what the You ain't had, had to. You ain't had to. Uh, I'm just fucking with y'all, okay. man. I figure whoever editing gonna cut whatever but, they no, cut. No, no, no. We ain't cutting. We ain't right. cutting shit. Ain't much getting but, edited out but, of here. But the, you heard that that's that's one of the best skits. Skit. Of, yeah. I, I have heard. Uh, but then there's other. Well, no, nah, I ain't finna sell no skits yeah, though. Because I, I got. Yeah, pimp, about I got pimp verse USA interlude as well. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you like chase the cat better, right? No. I... I don't like, man, I was just, I think whatever I was doing, make the record make sense. Mm, or right. make the, like, if I did this and I feel like it needs something else, like, you're like, nah, that shit is it. But I'm like, well, let me put this before so it can make sense to me. A smooth transition, you know? Mm. A ramp or fade, whatever it is, though, but make it feel good versus, uh, a prick, you know, getting the st <laughs> You know, sometimes they squeeze the shit and they stick you, or they just stick that motherfucker in you. Be like, ah, oh, shit. 
<laughs> he don't hear me now. Oh, I got, I got you now. Let's take another shot. I got no. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm finna start asking questions, All right. nigga. All right, but but there's another one of the joints. Rap ass nigga. Yeah, man. I think I think everybody in the game would appreciate that. One. I, right I thought, now, that's it. That work and work right now. I, right I now. thought that. He's I a thought, rap ass nigga. Right, and you got to think about it. That's some people who. I don't know. They just, all right, you sitting there minding your business. Nigga all in your ear with that shit. Yeah, yeah boy, I'm the next nigga. Boy, I could do this. Huh. How many niggas I told you they could bring you back, put you on, back on top of what yeah. I like? Yeah, we don't, we don't. How many niggas tell you I don't even want nothing? I'm like, man, stop being stupid, man. You they just rap get, ass niggas. Yeah, that rap shit, man. Get yeah. out of here, man. Yeah, uh oh, uh uh. Fuck out of here. Oh, wait, you were going to say something about Super Thug. Yeah, because that was my record. Like, okay. listen, I could be at a show, right? I, or I could be. John, whatever I was doing, it's certain records that my nigga Wade and them knew what to play. Like, you could play, what, what, what? And I'm, I could be like this. Just to come on. And I'm like this back. Right. See, stab somebody. Energy. Gotta stab Boom, somebody. When you ask me about the energy, works, yeah. whatever the fuck that was, that's the shit we was on. Yeah, yeah. That's the energy, Chad. Yeah. What, what? But... Yeah, I don't, I don't know if y'all remember one of the mixtape parts. This is what it sound like when we ride on the end. It's certain songs I would lift up to. That's fine. 400 man. Degrees, Corporate Thug and G. <coughs> like, it's certain songs like, mm. them niggas thought about me when they made these records, mm. man. Like, Make some noise for that, goddamn. They, they niggas thought about me when they made these records. Fill him up. Are you, are you taking another shot? Oh, damn, they already got me filled up. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, all right. Y'all know this how I be anyway, so y'all ain't gonna get me drunk. I'm gonna get y'all yeah. fucked no, up. No, 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 no. We, I do this we, for a living, man. Let me just tell you something. We waited for this talk, moment. Don't talk shit right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know why? I'm a, I'm a born and raised New York guy, but yes, I lived bro. out here for a uh, long time. Fifteen. I'm, I'm going on sixteen. Sixteen years. Yeah. And I I adapted the crib. The crib, the crib. adapted me. Yeah. I love it. The show was born out here in Miami. And the show was born out in Miami. Yeah. And from the moment we started this, they said, you got to give JT money, his motherfucking yep. flowers. And, this is and, and let me just finish, and I, I yeah, promise you. No. And we, this is an honor. Right. Um, we wanted to make for a special moment to, to, to give you your flowers at a special time because I'm going to be honest, I had to do... Research, research, right. because I wanted to really like let you know. That's I know right. we, we know each other, and you you yeah. guys know each other, but this is this is this is an honor, a pleasure, and um, we didn't want to yeah. fall short in any overdue. which way. Yeah. Short. Thank you, brother. I yeah. appreciate so, it. Salud. Blessings. Salud. Salud. And this is your motherfucking house. That's right. This is your baby. motherfucking yeah. house. Well, let's go. No, no, no. Take that shot, goddamn it. Mm -hmm. no. Oh, damn. You took it away. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Van jump. Mm. Well, let's go. Now you go the funny part, right? I done actually seen people tag us all above. I'm yes, like, oh, there it but it seemed like oh. I'm bothering y'all. I'm like, no, uh uh. Y'all uh, like, uh, leave me nah, up. Nah, like, nah. Y'all hit them and hit them niggas, but don't. Nah, nah, nah. your fans but they really let me come know, out. Like, Jay, boy, I told them niggas they yeah. enjoy it. No, no, yeah, your fans really come yeah. out. And let's, yeah. and let's just take time out to represent for your yeah. fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, yo, they yeah. Outside. Yeah. It got What's the name of your fan club? Because everybody got a name of their fan club. What's the name of your fan club? Well, it used to, it used to be family because it was never just fan. Because, like, uh -huh. all right, one thing I noticed, and see, you finna, you be, I'll be pulling it out, man. Uh -huh. The JT money thing fun, funny. Like, only niggas who fuck with me, fuck with me. Mm -hmm. If they don't fuck, like, if they on that rap shit and they don't know what they don't know, they're like, oh, yeah, 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 okay. But the niggas who fuck with me, they think, oh, I don't brother. Uh, yeah. Yo, you know, yeah. like, only niggas who fuck with me fuck with me. Like, if they don't fuck with me, they stay away from it. Like, snakes and pigs and rats, they stay away from me. And snakes, gonna, pigs, pigs, and rats, yeah. And rats. They gonna stay away from me. They know, you know, ah. Anyway, but um, what the fuck I was saying? I just wanna take a shot because of that. <laughs> I have snake no idea what that meant. Fan. Snake, pigs, and rats? Pigs, snake, pigs, pigs, and rats. Oh, pigs. Yeah, they stay away. I'm yeah. thinking about snakes and peas and rats. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, snake, pigs, pigs, and rats. And I'm thinking about the greenest peas ever. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about the greenest peas ever. So I'm like, all right, my bad. Now yeah, they stay it. away from But, um, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's just the funny part about it. So with that being said, like, one time with a fan, it got to a point with me where... Only reason I was still like, I still make records, cause a nigga be like, damn, you ain't gonna give us nothing else? Mm -hmm. it, it ain't like niggas was like, man, you need to get that shit up, sit down, nigga, go get you a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Mm. Nigga, you need to quit while you're here. Nigga, go lay down. Nigga, like, damn, nigga, we waiting on you. Give me something. So I would do something. Well, as an outsider looking in, that's an insider looking out. I don't know why I keep saying that. Without the situation. What I'm telling you is, you got real fans, brother. Like, these brothers, these people, these people, I'm talking about every day for six years. We're going on seven years. Yep, seven years. There's at least 13 to 30 people that hit us daily. (laughs) When you going to have JT? Since year one. Since year one. I'm talking about uh, since day one. But I'm saying, it's them same people. Listen, that's the reason I work today. But just in case you don't see them, we see them for you. And they out there... And we that's why we we really want to give you your flowers. Uh, uh, yeah, and I'm home with it, and I appreciate, it. I appreciate it. But they the reason I still work. Like yeah, you gotta think yeah. of people who started when I started right. and, and especially in the position here, because you know, again, I was always underdog. Like no label really knew what to do with me. So it was always about my record. My records is bigger than the artists. Mm. This song, they y'all heard that song before. Oh, that's who made that song? They don't know who made that song. Right. Mm. Listen, my fans is the reason I still work today. Like, how many niggas started with me can't even give away free shows? But right. me, I'm rocking with these motherfuckers and they still pay me, so. Right, right. Thank you. That's all. Yeah. You know, you hear a funny story? Um, to my what, what? I forget one time I was somewhere. And a dude bumps into me. He talking about... The record being bigger than you. Dude bumps into me. I turn, look at him. The record come on, what, what? He's beefing me the whole time. What? Right, like he made the, uh, he got you. Because singing my shit. That's you. Yeah. That's why. And That's beefing wild. with me. And I'm looking because we all surrounded him. He had no idea. No, no, right. And we was, we was going to beat the shit out of him to my record as well. But, but he had I, good taste. But though. I had good he taste. Had good I, want, he had I ain't good want to. I ain't want to. No, so right, I definitely right. walked away. So, I definitely was like, all right. And I got one for that. Look, I don't. I think I'm so good today, right? I got to. All right. I done told niggas this before. I say, fans really don't give a fuck. They want what they want. They, even if they say, I don't mean to. I don't want to. They don't give a fuck. They want what they want. Mm-hmm. On some fan shit. But nigga, hear your record. You know what you and then to say, well, damn, nigga, what about that? What you was talking about? You got to say what you mean. Were you looking for what? You, right. But I'm so good, I got a way of talking to a nigga, mm-hmm. and, I be, and they be like, I'm like, yeah, you see how ugly that shit could have got? Come on, man, let's go get a drink, man. Right. Hey, but you see how ugly that shit could have got? Mm-hmm. But cause they, they don't give a fuck. But in their mind, they, they, they trying to impress you, and they trying yeah. to te- impress and test. It don't mm-hmm. re- oxymoron. This shit don't make sense. Mm-hmm. You want to impress me or you want to test me? What, what we doing? I'm confused, mm-hmm. man, because... Mm-hmm. <laughs> But I'm so good at it now. Hey, man, look. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga. You know, oh, flipped it on Yeah, you see? Right. See how ugly? Right. Don't worry about that shit. Come on, man. Let's go have some fun, man. Because that's why we're here. You know? The other thing, who you came to see? You know, Paul said it. Some of niggas, what, who you came to see? Whatever, right. man. All this. Everything relate back to a song with me anyway. Just in case y'all ain't know. Yeah, right. I might always talk, and then it's going to go back to a lyric or something. Now, let me ask you one more. Too real. That girl. Mm. Who is that? That was a chick named Evil, but uh, originally it was a chick named uh, Lady Cartel, Trisha from Jacksonville. Mm. But, damn, that's a good one, because see, now nobody in the world ever heard it. So let me tell y'all this story. Let's go. I did the song originally with this chick from Jacksonville. It was cold in. Duval. 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 It was cold in. Mm -hmm. Um... Before that one came out, I got fucked up. Tom, got locked up again? Yeah. But, because Tone and, and the chick, you locked know. Locked up more than Robert Downey the Jr. Yeah, Tone and the chick was trying to cut a deal behind my back. Without me, like, oh, nigga, the nigga still, you know, you can't tell me what to do, nigga. I run this shit, nigga. I say. So, you know. I ain't do nothing, but you know, shit was called and it was a violation of my pro. So they go shit, they did the deal. But then while I'm locked up, they do whatever they do and they fall out. So now you wanna put another bitch on to fill in the blank. If you'd have heard the original, the record would have been way harder. Like I didn't change my lyrics to fit up. You ain't like because all lyrics is good too. Cause you ain't heard the original. Oh. That is why. The idea of the song is that. But if you would have heard 
where, all right, who that? Remember I say the night before the little, and, and everything just makes sense when you listen to yeah, it. You can see the movie. Because ain't Genuine trying to kill you? To, um, to, um, what? <laughs> so who that? <laughs> Hold on, say that again. Genuine did what? Genuine trying to kill you. Well, no, I, man, I introduced him so late. late. You ain't yeah. all. Yeah, we was at the show, man. Oh. Genuine was my guy, man. Oh, and, they, oh, and it was... Giddy, you we want to meet him, we want to meet him. Oh, all right, and I'm so like, hey, hold boy. on, did we finish that other story hey, before I, I said, hey, buddy, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, years <laughs> later, they married, you know, kid, but. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm about to say they was finger popping, but. Yeah, yeah, no, but they, what they, they, You got to relax. Yeah. Finger popping. But I'm just saying, was, like, we, to the real shit. I think we was in the Bahamas, nigga. <laughs> it could have been. What hotel? SLS? I really don't know. Nigga. The Hyatt? <laughs> Probably. I don't know, but trying to get hella specific. Right, right. All right. Please, these always come in like, Jay, you don't remember that night? Listen, shows and it, so they, all, saying, they all Are burp. you saying on Dream Champs? I'm saying. Not only did you have Soleil on the record, but you had you introduced Soleil to Genuine? You got damn right. And I'm saying it on Dream Champs. Uh. Listen, they came to me, her and her dancers and her friend, and they're like, ooh, we want a man. And then whatever it was, because we had done a few shows, and it's like, bruh. Hey, so, 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 and you know, I was talking about my business. business. Yeah, because. And he was on the pony at that time. Probably. He was on the pony? Uh, yeah. You know. He was riding that vine. In but my I'm mind, just saying, but he, he was riding around riding, 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 riding the pony. But, because, uh. you know, you got to picture a lot of people. They always just ask about, what about you and Solo? I'm like, no, nigga, strictly professional. It was never no. Right. Nothing. Yeah. And because Solo was signed to L.A. Reed, right? And, yeah. and you were signed to Tricky, L.A. Reed. The producer. That's how she. Listen, who that? I originally did three verses to who that. So you didn't have, you didn't want Soleil on there. No, I didn't know her yet. Okay. I didn't know her yet. Mm -hmm. Then when I did it, Tricking them was like, yeah, boy, he should put my female on there. Like, while we was working, he done played it right. You know, you're in the studio with somebody, you hear what they working on, they order. Mm -hmm. So I done heard a few songs, uh, 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 uh. and then he like, man, you should let me put on the, uh, on that hook, boy, you know, put a female on there. I got this order. And I'm say, I say, well, let me see the picture. Let me see her. Okay. Because... Because, like, let's, 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 let's be clear. It. We were bozo men back in the days. We uh. bought Little Kim's album because she was spread eagle. Uh. We bought... Foxy. We, all, we bought Foxy because she was... She had... She well, had they still had to count her We still they had to They can spit. They can spit. We let T-Pain and MC Light not so much because that was before They didn't need to do that. They didn't need to do that. Okay. So, with that being said, it was just like... Well, shit, let me um, see her. And then when I saw him, like, shit, run that shit. Then they did it. We cut my first verse. Listen, I did three sixteens on that song. Mm -hmm. But then I got a, a 8 and a 12, and then she got a 16, you know, format. Listen, I've been doing records before three sixteens, and I was doing records until we finished rapping. Right. You know, we wasn't selling beats and hooks back then. I'm right. from that era. Yes, I understand. You know, but... I'm from the era when they thought rap was going to die. Right. But this shit going to fade out. This shit ain't going to last. It's, it's a, a fad. fad. Right. Yeah, I'm from that era. So we ain't had no format. Now nah, we, you know, four minutes, not two minutes. Right. Mm. Niggas record was sell minute. I'm from that era where they had eight minute records, but mm -hmm. we didn't do that. But still. Listen, mm -hmm. man, I'm just saying, man. And a classic was born. Yeah, man, I was in cassette tapes, man. But... How did you introduce her to Genuine? What happened? We was at a show. I think we rocked. It was getting ready to rock. Or he just got through rocking. They wanted to say hello. And Genuine, he did. He was riding his pony. Yeah, he probably was like, hey, how y'all doing? And he was like, what's up, girl? What you doing? Uh -huh. You know, he's probably to say, whatever you doing. I don't know what. I want a dog. I thought it was the introduction. Oh, oh, okay, you said, you said. Yeah, he, he just brought them together. You said, this is yeah. the y'all, this is the y'all, and y'all not y'all. Right, boom. And they wanted to meet you. Right? Yeah. Because right. we brought her. All right, boom. I, I came with three chicks. Mm. One of them or two of them want to meet you. Mm. I'm going to let them meet you. My one that stayed by me, she wants to, because she can meet you too. We talking about genuine with the S-curl, right? I'm talking right? about whatever, whatever, okay. whatever we talking about. Does he have finger braids? Okay. I'm just trying to make, I'm making, this, it okay. makes sense. All right. Yes, I like this. Man. <laughs> I like yeah. it. I'm in there. I'm in there. <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> I'm so what I'm saying is, yeah. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's my brother, it's my baby. You know, I'm playing. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? And let's have fun. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? Yes. Not a nose, but I'm saying, nothing ain't got nothing to do with nothing, man. And, and real what's going to stay, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
Just bring us Shoot this forever lies but for a moment. Yeah. Shoot this forever lies but for a moment. When the smoke clear, the truth gonna still be here. So no matter how much smoke and mirrors, no matter what they do, when the wind blow, it's your nigga, man. It's your dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. Right. In the name of love, of course. But y'all laughing at me. They but, laughing at me, man. But in the name of whole problems. <laughs> Right. Whoever name that is. No, no, that's, that's the name of your song, sir. Yeah, because her problems ain't no problem. But nah, if I If your whole one to go, let her let go. Let her go. God, I like this. Because listen, all right, that's one, of the, <laughs> that's one of the funniest records, right? On that same album. I got, all right, I got to tell you. I'm going to just tell you. I ain't going to tell you why I got to tell you. I'm just tell you. That was one of the records. I didn't care who liked it, but I'm picking this one for my album. For me. But like, did you have a hoe that was ready to go and you had to let her go? No, that's just the situation of life. Oh. <laughs> all right. When I, when, I, when I first... See, now we, I got to take you all the way back to the bitch eyes. I got to take you back to Poison Clan. Mm. Like, they say I changed the mind state of niggas in my state. Do you understand Mars. that? So now, niggas see, like, we already got enough to deal with as uh, men. We can't have these problems here as well. Like, listen here, bitch. Tighten up. You either with me or you ain't. Like, Yo, come on, man. I got, be I got shit out to you, do. Man. That people be coming out. Uh, and I think you fly. I think you raw, girl, and I'm willing to. But, bitch, I'm not hitting the gas and the brakes at the same... I'm not trying to spin out. It's a mindset. All right. So, with that, I already did the I hold, hold, I, mean, I did the push your pad. No, I already did the... It's the song. The bitch house is born. Right? So now that's Poison Clan, not JT Money Solo. So now when I do Hope Problem, I'm thinking, I don't know who liked this song. Because they like who that, they like Hope Problems. They, I mean, not Hope Problems, they like uh, who that. What the shit is with Big Gil, they like, all right. They like, you know, they like these songs. Because that's the vibe they was on, the industry yeah. people. Who that a funny song? Because they dropped who that. And I don't even know what the second song, oh, all right, on that album, which it should have been something about pimping, but the niggas at Priority, sure? yeah, they were like, no, man, let us do it, man, I'm telling you, this the record, because me and Tony Mercedes had something about pimping, we like, but we're going to drop who that, then we're going to drop something about pimping, this album going to go. Mm. They want to drop, all right, because it sound almost who that-ish, it's that crunk shit. It's still, it was still crunk. But Man, now we are artists because I want to do something like this. I want to do something like this. Show the versatility. Yeah, switch it up. The right. different audiences. Mm. I ain't trying to stay here with these kids. Mm. Like, your Uncle Jay here, yeah. but now your brother here. <laughs> uh -huh. You know, more of us. Before I feel like I'm just going right nah, now. Nah, you good, you good, you good. With you. Go. But, um, a boom. I was trying to say it's a funny song. Because, listen, I was doing shows. And then, based on... The hype or the algorithms at the time or whatever it was, right. they wanted to hear that. So then I, I would get through, be through the show like I'm finna deal, and they like people still waiting. Like, nigga, you're not gonna do whole problem. What the fuck you doing? Like, how you gonna not do whole problem? I'm like, oh y'all like this song? That same shit happened to me with Run the Yard. Damn, when I see my notes game, Them songs, like the reason I get booked today. I'll tell you. Look, just so you that, know, that's in my notes too. Run yeah, the yard. The Run the yard. Look at that. Everybody that today, cause it's the truth. I get booked for whole problems and run the yard. Chevy gang, who that? Hello, shake what your mama gave you. Shake what all, your mama gave you. Oh, that's bonus. That's extra. Like, oh right. shit, he did that too. But them, them young niggas on the street, they want to hear. I used to be a nigga every day. Mm -hmm. They want to be there to go. Like, that's the reason they booked me it's today, the nigga. And kite the boy like. The, all right, certain songs I can't go nowhere and not perform. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck what new I'm trying to do. It's gonna be like, yeah, whatever, Jay nigga. I was waiting to hear my song. Right, <laughs> nigga, we pay, nigga, we paid you for my song, nigga. Like, bitch, I ain't no court justice. That's what I'm giving you. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just saying, how these fans don't give a fuck. Real. real niggas from the yard. Well, real niggas from the yard. Nigga. Run the yard, no problems. Kite to the boys. Kite to the boys. Come on, stop. Shit. Stop doing my interview for me. 
Oh, Kite to the boys is my next conversation. Yeah. Look, 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 look. Just so you know. Look, Yo, look. I saw it when you showed me running out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw it, though. Yeah, you stop, stop, stop stealing my interview. Come on. All right. Kite to the boys. Oh, yeah, well, shit, that was it. How'd I wrote a letter. I saw, I, that's actually a, uh, a real letter I, I tried to send home to the boy. That, that's when uh, I violated my probation. When I was sitting in. You violated your letter. probation a lot. Sir. The federal. Oh, no, well, I wasn't on, on papers then. Yeah, the the second, second or third time, the last three or four times it was violent. Damn. <laughs> the first four or five times it was stupidness. No, I'm just playing now. Listen. Wow. Um, yeah, well, that was just that. That was my story. Like, uh, Kite of the Boys, Mama Dearest, Father the Son. I, those really letters I wrote mm. back home. And I sent him home, but and you I was with that right? rap shit then. Right. And I wrote it lyrically, but then niggas was able to see it. Like, all right, here goes something else. They be telling me, like, Jay, you don't tell stories no more, man. You know, I'm so busy trying to say, nigga, I'm so-and-so. I'm this, I'm that. But they all just, wait, wait. Wait, what? I'm, yeah, I'm, uh. that rap shit. Right. Yeah, instead of spitting them stories. Right. That shit we know facing them from right. talking the story. So that's what my people say I used to do for them, mm -hmm. vividly. They say yeah. I could, so that's kind of one of those stories. Like, they done been locked up, or if they get locked up after they heard that song, they know how to do their bid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all that is. That's all. If I go to jail after hearing this song, I know how to survive. And we talking about uh, Kite to the Boys. Kite to the Boys, yes. But then, then they can also take Run the Yard. Yes. <laughs> Run the Yard. That was supposed to be on straight zooism. I did that record three times before it came out that way. I never wow. throw away that good shit. Listen, I be waiting on the right beat. Because cer there's certain things you, you either know or you don't know. There's certain things you know. Everyone already. Oh, you and, um, the flu too. And um, that was one of them records, man. I, I did that shit three times before it, it came time. out. Yeah, one more time for you, man. Young niggas let them niggas go. OGs hit right. blunts, nigga. Mm -hmm. Hit blunts. Let me hit the motherfucker, yeah. too. And that's that live res in there too. That's that yaka. That's that yala here. Show them what it, how it looked like. It looked like dink a little bit. Show them how it looked like the, the, the um the um the res. Look, let's show them. Show them. Look. They're bringing on over. Yeah. Show them. Yeah. It looked like I'm glad y'all had me. It walking. looked like it looked like I'm a Miami nigga in the hole. When you look See, at that, man, yeah, it's something about the uh, beautiful packaging. Y'all can sell, y'all can sell me some shit on some good packaging. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna buy one for me. I'm buy one to hang over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And it's not light, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's yes. shit. Yeah, please take that for yourself. Take that for yourself. Well, if you're a sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy moly, guacamole! I got so much more. All right, cool. Oh. Uh, Forget Take what your mama gave you, man. Yeah. That's such a classic, man. First time Luke and them took me to the strip club in Atlanta now. What Listen. happened? Wait, Luke? Yep, wait. Yeah, fuck, Luke, wait, too fuck, you, you went too fast. Yep. You just said. The first time. First time you ever went to a strip, strip club, club with Luke. No, right. Is and, in Atlanta? And I stayed in the car the first time. Then, then we went to the second place. Then I went in. So oh. what was the first place you went to? I don't know. <laughs> All right, what's the second place that you got into? You got to remember the finger popping that story. That could have been, I don't know, somewhere Players on Club? No, no, no. It was in Atlanta. It's early. It's not Magic City? Could have, second place could have been Magic City. Okay. But me, you got to picture me coming out two little like mothers. I'm 17, probably just turning 18. But you've been in the... This, oh, this is your first time in the strip club. First time. Listen. But Pac Jam was like a strip club, damn right. near. No, not then. Back then, no. Uh -huh. Listen, what the fuck I'm going to go in there for and just get some bitch my money? I, I'm not... I'm just crabbing. I'm tight. I don't... Whatever we was on, we was shorty. Uh -huh. I wasn't... We always had butt naked girls in Miami, so we uh -huh. had skin to win. We, they just walk around with... So I don't, I, I'm not understanding the process. Picture me rolling, now. Then I go in there, and I ha and I enjoy myself. It's beyond you just give me some bit some money you can't take with. To get you good good it's, conversation as yeah, well. The, what up the vibe? Whatever it was, then you round other money, other monies, because mm -hmm. you know we are around the same little hood. You know. Yep. No nigga can advance you over here, but over here, a whole nother world. Right. You see another a new color, a new shade. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna go into the dimension of the, a new shade. That shit look a little. Anyway, came back home. Here go the lyric. Hover and over and spread your butt cheek. Let niggas see them good. Bro. That was inspired. That's in how it went. Like, it wasn't like. I would have never thought It that. ain't like I was at the club every week. No, nigga, I went that night. And then I was like, hoping over and spread your butt. See, boom. Let niggas. Listen, I'm going to tell you about the beat. Devil said he gave me three beats. I picked this one. He said, nah, you can't get that. I said, well, why the fuck you gave it to me then? I wrote it to this beat. But through intervention, he said, nah, I want it on this beat. And this is the beat that made it. Boom, kaboom, 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 kaboom. Yeah. You understand? Like, it was, it's beyond what I thought or what he thought. Listen, man, I'm talking about game. I picked this beat. I wrote it for this. I think this beat here, Luke probably did... Uh, Work it out or shake it up or some shit on it. It was sound like the regular typical Miami bass shit. Right. This one sounded like Poison Clan JT Money. That shit was like ghetto foul. It was like boom, boom. Like if you'd have played the instrumental for a nigga, right. if he could handle it, he could handle it. But he would not. You can't say no soft shit on that. You can't say no pussy shit on that. Nigga, you got to get in that pussy and get that pussy. <laughs> you can't play with her. She, she going to talk about you. We still so much with your mom again? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm bad. I'm bad. Hey, I'm yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's those type of records that would turn a regular club into a strip club. Right. It, it took you. And he got the funny you. part. Who that was the biggest. Right. I worked the longest I was shake with your mom again. Uh. Like... I still play that now, and we eat. Yeah, that record. Like, is it? Is if I'm it, doing a show, on it, just picture you getting bored. Like, we gotta man. play that record here. Picture you getting bored. Yeah, I told him set it up. Picture, picture you getting play. bored, brother. You you watching this? See, you, you trying to give it your old college try? But now nah, this nigga boring me, and I'm gonna drop that motherfucker. You're like, oh shit! Shake with your mom again. That's yeah. one of them songs, man. Yeah. Shake, man. But who that was the biggest? Right. But I worked the. But but but. but. Did, well, um, Who that came and left the next year? You got to think about how the game was. Yeah. They'll have a new nigga next year. Yeah. Uh, these right. Who that came and went? And then I, I stopped doing it in my show because I was still doing whole problem. Shake with your mom and gave you push it, you know, them street songs. Right. Then I wait five, ten years, and I drop it again. It's like, oh, shit. We, like, we missed that. Uh -huh. But it was so over saturated with play. It was like, I, I'm thinking that's... Are you in your mind? You thinking that's the last song before you leave? And shit, what your mama gave you? That's a that's a Luke sample. No, no. me and Devastator. Everybody thought it's Luke a, did the hook, but that's Devastator, the dude who made the beat. Yeah, you don't, you don't think that was maybe one of the last real bass Miami bass records that came out? It feels I, now that now that I, Luke on the I, I don't like to take no credit, but I just love to hear people's opinions. It feels like, and it. I like now to that be, I'm and I, just, I like I to be in the conversation Bible. of good shit. I like to be there. I think that's one of the last <laughs> real like, Miami bass yeah. records that came out. Like, right, that was uh, kind of authentic. I really right. like, yeah, versus Mind blown. trying to do something. Wait, uh, Uncle Al came out with his record after that, but Uncle Al as a DJ, this not, right, right. not a necessarily rap. rap. Well, I mean, he was, but you know, it's different. But I think Uncle Al um, came with Holes in the House right after. There's some um, holes in this um, house. And then well, Duda Brown. Where Duda Brown living no, that's, at? That's, that's for the back. Yeah, that Baltimore, though. That Frank Ski. That's all that. That's not Luke. No, I'm not no. Alive. No, he says it in a record. Oh, okay, he yeah. says it in a record. Duda Brown, but yeah. Yeah, the one you were saying, that's some whole other Yeah, yeah. you thinking of doom, 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 That Frank Ski now. I love it all. Yeah, that Frank Ski now. That Baltimore. That was you said, Baltimore. Yeah. And I'm thinking, and then you made me think of Tough Crew. That's, that's, uh, where's Tough Crew Philly? Why did you say that? My Listen, part of town. I was going to tell them Philly niggas that. I was going to talk to my Philly niggas and be like... Talk to them Philly niggas. Oh, y'all niggas. Philly and Wallow watching. Like, nigga, Good. nigga, Philly nigga. Tough crew, bit Rock arms. That that's classic. Ding, 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. It's so damn tough. Rock on. But all those records that's were that out here playing. shit, nigga. That's yeah. Philly, though. Listen, yeah, yeah. I'm good. It felt like it was Dade County, though. Thank y'all for letting me say that. Y'all saying Philly bit Dade County. No, no, no. That was their shit. But we loved it But it really it really out here. It blew up here. The like, skating rings out here, the, the, the like club. Yeah, mad confusing. Hey, I don't that's know like AMG. Nah, better have my money. Because it's, it's Trump my Bradley. Money. It's right on the top. That shit broke down here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Dade County. Ghetto style looting them. They made those yeah. records big. Yeah. Listen, 
I'm no, I know the lyrics, man. You play a song, I might rap the whole motherfuckers. But listen, I was waiting on my time to talk to Philly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga in Philly. Yeah, nigga, y'all don't know nothing about it. Tough crew, bitch. Tough crew. Them niggas was at the Miami legend. Baseball Stadium, nigga. That was there too, bitch. Rock on. Yeah, I'm over a little ice dog clocking. And that <laughs> was straight came about shit. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't know what to do, but I got a shot laying we got, here. We got to play that too. I got a <laughs> shot laying here. Come fuck on. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, Shut up, fuck. Shot laying here. Salute, man. Yeah. Yo, play, play shit what your mama gave you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Music back shit. a little quick, come right back. Let's hear this. Man, this is a hip Listen, I got one more Philly thing. Hold on, hold on, Philly, back. No, I'm going to go out there. Now, what's the Philly thing? Nigga, uh, PSK, Schoolie D. Oh, yeah. Original gangster. Of course, of course. I don't care who say what, nigga. PSK, Schoolie D was, uh, nigga trying to get, for sad nigga, I'll shoot you dead. For sad nigga, nigga, nigga. Schoolie D, bitch, that was that. <laughs> Philly, that day Philly was shit. on the hardcore shit way yeah, for a lot of people. But that nigga was on, yeah. got some brew, some chase, some coke. Tell you now, brother, this ain't no joke. That's a cool... School he was out there. That yeah, nigga Mr. was Lee, in the street. Right? Hey, that nigga was in the streets. And I was a young nigga. What are you nigga. doing? That you shit. making the song? <laughs> they had to, right, they right. Had to hit the, the shit. Shit, I should have brought it. But that's it for my Philly story. Besides, when I went to Pittsburgh, a nigga sounded like they were from London. There was some kid. Too like crook. Y'all not too like crook. Y'all not like the Tiny. I'm like, what? Nigga, where the fuck we at? But like Pittsburgh or somewhere, though. Nigga sounded like they from London. And when y'all did Dance All Night, did y'all know y'all had a hit? Well, we thought that was just one of those records, like, that's going to be our Miami record. Like, we know how to work Miami. We're not thinking about outside of... How far did it go? It went everywhere, right? It really did. I mean, I'm a kid. I'm in junior high when this Yeah, it, it really did. Listen, man, I can remember being in places, right? And you got a picture of Miami Bay, and it was new. And uh, Miami base. Yeah, just the sound. So they looked at, you got a picture of places, Midwest and North North. They don't want to hear, they not, they're not even used to hearing that shit. Right. They were like, like, I was telling niggas, them the fights I was fighting. We'll go out there and um, niggas be like, yeah. Like, but they heard Spore Ride. Like, nigga do Spore Ride and go like, we don't want to hear all that other shit. <laughs> and then it got to a point where I really started doing the, Hey, yo, life's a bit, so what? Now they like, oh, shit. Now I got their attention. Right. Because, right, they want to hear. I walk out there, they sitting there, and they just doing whatever they doing around the stage. It shows, yo, so this up from Miami. Real promo to a real promo shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Them niggas could give a fuck if we was there or not. Like, who y'all mm. niggas is? We got to we got to pull them in. Oh, check, how about that one? Mm. That's our job. The, Cause right. other than that, was like, yeah, man, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga think he got fondled. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> the nigga tried to steal from me when he touched my pocket, bitch, and the bottom of my pocket. Something. But yeah, 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 but it's a method to the madness, man. I always have been. It's just like, nigga. Yeah. And this is another, this is another question I always wanted to ask, especially the um, granddaddy you just passed away. Damn. Um, rest in peace. Rest in peace, granddad. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you got a joint that you sample the same exact That's beat. The bitch that I hate. The bitch that I hate. The girl. Yeah. The girl Brother that I, I hate. hate. Yeah. Um, who 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 sampled that first? Mr. Mix. Well, Mr. Mix did that whole first album. It was his idea. Shout out, Mr. Mix. Yeah. Legend. David Hard, Mr. Mix, the producer, of everything on Loop Records at that time. Wow. Two Love, Angry Yet, Luan Love. He did all that shit then. And you realized you had the same beat, something new, and yeah, they came same out before ours too. Theirs came up. Yeah, we had it. We we had ours made, but we've been sitting, you know. But still, I, I who's to say how long they had there? It's one of them arguments you can't, you know. Mm. But, uh, yeah, he was talking, okay, boom. His was, he was talking about himself, right? So then, uh, uh, ours was a relationship. Mm -hmm. You fucking that nigga, you out here fucking these hoes? It was a man and a woman. Right. See, I think that mammy shit was always man and woman, call and respond. Right. Say, shut the shut. Yeah. Or, I forgot the power. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut Nigga be loving that wild right. shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I got one back. for that. I like, picture 
everything before that that y'all thought was Miami based or felt like that uh, close to him. And then picture that nigga right there, right? That nigga, that's not me. Just that nigga there, whoever that guy is yeah, doing that record. <laughs> who was that guy? Yeah, who was that? Listen. It instruct the pussy. We're not asking, we're not... That nigga, his first line is, hoping over and spread the butt cheese. Let nigga see them guts free. Touch the ground. Slap that. You're giving instructions to the pussy. See, the pussy needs that. Yeah. <laughs> the pussy don't want to be wasted. The pussy don't want to be out here by itself doing anything. The pussy needs instruction and guidance. <laughs> Miami listen, niggas listen, listen to that nigga instructional no. manual. All right, the second verse. Fuck it. Work for this money, honey. Stop faking. I want to see some real wood. Stop the ground. Stop. Instructions. <laughs> we ain't begging no I don't know why I'm taking more shots. I'm out. No, we getting this good shit, man. Recently. We getting this good shit, bitch. Mm. Uh, definitely some Miami shit. Yeah. Fuck is they talking about? But I was just talking about that guy. That guy. I remember... You, Cause when I heard it, I was like, oh, I was, oh. What? Heard what? I what part? When I heard that nigga talking that shit, Who? back then in 91, 92, I was like, oh. oh. You talking yourself? Oh, yeah, okay, well, fuck it. That dude, that, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, that He dude. was a Paul. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah, but. Damn, I got another shot right here. You got another shot? <laughs> you wild boy. Yeah, boy. I got another shot. Hey, they gonna be the first episode. Y'all gonna see all us like this, bitch. Oh, no. Yeah, no. No, I'm trying to go better. to dinner at some point. I know point. better now. But, um, oh, you finna power up. You no, finna no, power no, back no, no, up. No, 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 that's no. good. We good. Uh, but um, you got to give him another shot. Listen, man. Whenever brother I go, I'm going with brother. <laughs> we not going to do nothing listen, apart. I just want to give you a flower. I see my nigga rationing. Yep. No, but I no, got no. you. Did you ever had that? You know, you know what that is? No, but I'm willing make to take one with my guy. Dominican Mama Juana. They make that in a tub and Kindle. Buck. I just spoke to him. He's buck. like, I said, man, just run with it. Hold yeah, up, yeah. is that Buck? Call it, call it. I told him make a commercial. Tub, Kindle, ma Mama Wana. Kindle Your people tub. made that. Like Buck, like they make chain they gang. Yeah. in New York. They 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 homemade, homemade. All right, That's you got dope. your shot? That's dope to me. Yeah. Listen, so... Damn. Uh, I'm gonna say, so them other people ain't got nothing to do with us. We drink that because we like that. Mm. Oof. Cause we trust us. We drink one. Well, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to say their names and get up, but so they ain't got nothing to do with our thing. Mm -hmm. mm. I like it. We smoke dirty. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you, you say, smoke dirty. You get what I'm and you, uh, you, you know, know Garcia. Uh, you know, uh, super clean <laughs> or super clean. Just say super clean. Just say non-processed. Yeah. Super clean, non-process. I, I, I know like, people like that, right? Yeah, they like, I mean, like, I, you love dirty girl lovers? I, I, I hung like that for okay. two, two days. You, two days you like the dirty girl lovers? I probably was one. Okay. I probably was a dirty girl lover at, at uh -huh. two days. Well, you smoking the dirties with the dirties? Oh, no, 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 no. No. No, I was feeding. Okay, we feeding. Yeah, 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 I was feeding. Okay. How does oh, work? thank God. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't yeah. there. Thank you. How does this work? You, you say, here go to y'all. No, nah, you say what you need, and I ain't there. Yeah, get right. Uh huh. And so, I'm gonna get right. They know how to roll up themselves. Yeah, of course. They better if you can't. Nah, if they smoke that shit, they If you can't roll know. it, then you ain't got no business. Yeah. That's what I used to tell the young nigga when, they, when everybody was first smoking. I said, if you can't roll your own joint, you ain't got no business smoking. Fuck, what we talking about? And his was OG, crazy. Oh, roll, roll this for me. I'm like business mind. Then roll your own. Yeah. Cause if you can't, you know, whatever. Cause his was crazy. Now people are rolling like the good weed. Whatever. With the good cocaine. It's like, what is that called? Death? Like, no, it's just, you know. Let's call it waste of money. Back good in the day, good. Be bad 10. weed with the good cocaine or the bad the weed. Reason with the reason they, they put cocaine was because it was bad weed already. Listen, oh, right. really? We yeah. could, hey, we could, foul we, we could think now. and. Mm -hmm. We can think and feel how we want to feel, but they feel how they feel. Right. Like, <laughs> like they like, oh boy, y'all just don't know, nigga. Y'all yeah. ain't got a clue. Like, yeah. we sit over here saying, yeah, nigga, but that's, and they like, shit, that's what you think, bitch. Huh? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, real talk. So right. I'm just like, man, to each his own whatever, motherfucker, but, you know, all right, boom. Now I got to bring it into my. Let's bring it to the. If we're like, well, in, in my family and my business and things like that, I be like, yeah, nigga, you know I love you, but you, you can't come with me today. Mm. I, I, you know I love you, though, but you can't ride today. Well, we, we'll be back. You know, because I'm going to come back and fuck with you. Right. But, but why they can't ride today? 
Cause that. Cause they run. I ain't going to mention it. As far as my business, that oh. don't play in this. Yeah. Like it might play all. He don't want to end up like Eddie. It we're, might play all out here. Yeah, the when the police pull you over and you get and the same said, for the cocaine. That's it. Yeah, it play all out here. But when I'm right here, cause you know I'm really responsible right. That's for right. everything right here. Right. I still love you. It's real. But if you on a y'all, you can't be around a y'all on a y'all. I understand. Yeah, and that's just that. Like I understand. You you can't ride with me today. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But no, I always ride, but yeah, but I don't always be here. Hey. I don't always be right here. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, just some shit like that, you know? Yeah. Fair and honest is good, man. You know what I'm saying? Again. <laughs> that's right. It's some noise for being honest. Truth, yeah, that's so It's fair uh, Truth is forever, lies but for a moment. I'm telling you, listen, man. Let me ask you. Let me. We learned this shit as kids. Okay. Go ahead. No, I'm Is sorry. there anything you, you regret that you didn't do in this game? I want to regret some shit. Mm -hmm. But me understanding whatever I understand for this life and decisions and God and karma and me understanding what I what I believe, it's like it is what it is. Like it was certain situations when I had one of the hottest records in the country and people was asking me to do certain things. I'm like, well, how much how much they paying me? Shit, they ain't paying. But they trying to build something. I I wouldn't do that. So you but, say you regret that? I want to regret it. Okay. I don't regret shit because no. I'm here today and right. I'm, I'm still listen, writing this story. I'm going to be honest, like, I'm, I'm just, just to reiterate no. what you're saying, one of the things that I didn't know was, not not I regret it, but was I was doing features, like, um, no. um, and I never knew you're supposed to get paid for features. It was pun who you just actually, doing the, I was just doing it. Like whoever was fucking just, with who you fuck with. Yeah, whoever who fucked with me and they wanted to do a record with me, I just did it. But ain't nothing wrong with that. And, and pun that's an exchange sometimes. That's that's, that's what yeah, it is. I mean that's why I feel like, you know, that's what it is. But somebody else gonna use that uh, against you like, oh boy, you what are you crazy? Well you should've but they don't even know how far you not taking that little bit, how yeah, far that took you actually in did. that area. It Look, worked out for me. When, right. But everyone else, it they, won't work out for Your me. walk ain't dead. <laughs> they, and, and if they want to be judgmental, let them fool themselves. Right. Yeah, whatever. Just just don't be disrespectful. Right. But you can be stupid over there. Right. Check, though, know, because it worked for me. I did that. I didn't... Oh, man, I got... I think, all right, even that play a part into the so-called legacy or legend of JT. Well, oh, that nigga take what real nigga take. I mean, all right, boom, here go a, a better one. I go see people, I go places, and I'm always somewhere. Then I see motherfuckers who in position. I don't know them. They come to me like, boy, you don't remember me, boy? You was, and I was a little nigga, and you said to me, and you did, and I be like. Well, thank God I was a real nigga, because if I was a fuck nigga, you could have gotten... Right. Mm. You want to present you to... Right. But I don't know you, but you love me, because right. whatever I said to you or whatever I did for your mama and them back, just mm. shit like that. Right. Thank God I was a real nigga. Right. It all comes I'm around. still out there, but... Right. If I if I did some fuck shit, yeah. that was your chance to... Right. So whatever, nigga. I don't know what we were talking about. I don't know how we got there. Fuck it. Let's make some noise. It led, that, me, down. It led me down. Hey, it led me right there. That's karma. That's karma. But it's happened that way. Who who your favorite West Coast artist is? Favorite West Coast? West Coast, yeah. It got to be all uh, my West Coast. It got to be some short. It got to be Cube. It got to be Snoop. It got to be... It got to be all the niggas that we know. Okay. All right, now picture the underground. Okay, boom. Now you wanna say an underground game. I like, I always like Sugar Free. When you talk mm. about that pimp, cause that nigga that was cold. <laughs> you know. Um, Singer Sugar Free with the with the with the with the, pimp, with the yeah. yeah, look. Like I, I don't see Look, we both do the same shit. Yeah, right? I, I ain't I ain't seen cold as that guy. Okay. That guy's cold. But then I've met other dudes, you know. And I think they good, but when you want to say the favorite, they good for what's going on now. I see them now okay. fighting the fight in this era. Because right now, ain't nobody big until they say, until they say they big. Like, it's our boy. He the man over here. Like, for them streets, it's other niggas who still maintain. Like, I think they be fighting the fight I fight. Like, for some strange reason, I'm telling you, the reason I still get booked is certain things those particular songs and 
that. Like, if I make a new one, good for me. If I don't make a new one, I don't know, bad for me. But those songs is, I don't know if it's a feeling or a rite of passage or, like, before you get to this age, you got to feel like this. Then you get over here, you feel like, I don't, I don't understand it. I'm just thankful and blessed for it. How we got on that subject, I don't know. Yeah. But I said I was gonna come talk to my brother. <laughs> yeah, sure. And you said you said you're working on a Poison Clan album, a new one. Definitely that. Tell us more about that album. Huh? Independent, obviously. Yeah. Well, so far, like, okay. if anybody feel free to want to uh, do business with the Poison Clan, there you go. Put it out there. Put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm talking about the original cast. You know, JT Money, Debonair, Drugs, Madball, Uzi. You know, the only difference is we got new a uh, new young product. Production team. Right, right. And these are guys who did their homework and was fans of them. And like, yeah, but y'all should come like this now. Like, just see if everything we want to do still sounded like 1990. And they're like, no, nah, nigga, put that conversation over this 2024 beat. Mm. I respect that. Some shit like that. Right, and we got to respect that too. And then we, we got to respect that. All right. I, I run into old niggas who think they know everything. Mm -hmm. right. I I know niggas. I know niggas raw with production, right? And he been doing shit about twenty eight or thirty years, and it get to a point. I'm so cool and home. I had to I had to get to a nigga like, well, goddamn, bitch, my thirty two years don't mean nothing to you, like. And I got more accolades than you. You just good at what you do. Mm -hmm. You think you know everything? I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. Receive. I'm, I'm gonna tell y'all something that I, I, I think that Miami people don't actually take. Yeah, this is my last shot. You got another one? This is my last one. I'm with you, man. I got shit to do. I'm gonna tell you something that Miami actually doesn't understand. Miami could actually be like Houston, Texas, like as far as that, because like I right, in, in New York, we have boroughs. Yeah. We don't have cities, like. Opelok is damn near its own city, correct? Yeah, Hialeah is its own city. Hialeah is its own city. Homestead is its own city. Like, like y'all are, and I'm saying this as an honorary member now, like, y'all can sell shit without leaving y'all actual state. Right. To your own it's, it's, people. It's different here than, than, like, Texas. But New York been doing that. Nigga go platinum in New York right. without going I, I, I'm to telling y'all. And, and, and the thing is, we were doing that in the flea markets. It right. was happening out here. Right. But the difference, I think, with Miami and some of those places, Miami's constantly changing. People are coming from all over the place and is always changing the demographic. Yeah, but one thing that's never never changed is across the bridge. Right. It's over the no, bridge. No, no, no. I'm changes. talking about and living here, too. I, I, I got to disagree. Nah, with man, you'll you have an influx of this group that comes in, Venezuelans, or these people, you okay, know, okay. Haitians will come in. And I feel like it okay. changes a little bit. Like, Miami people, they never want to. Feel, they don't want to act like fans. I don't know if you've ever felt this way. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fans. Like oh, let me fans. Just, Miami, oh, oh, Miami, oh, oh, we, we, oh, oh, we never feel oh, like fans. Out, we out, feel like out, we, out. we, oh, it. Oh, time out. When yeah. I used to go to the Miami Heat games when I first came here, when LeBron came here, oh, let's just be clear, you're the most spoilerless fans in the world. They spoil. As soon as LeBron <laughs> wins by four points, niggas is leaving. Yeah. Niggas is like, oh, we already won the game. Like, I've never seen this. Do you know I'm a Knicks fan? <laughs> you know how brutal it is being a Knicks fan? Yeah, we will lose by 45 and Spike Lee would still stand right there. Right. Right. But Spike ain't leaving, right. we're not leaving. Right. Miami we fans fight, is in right. Club Live. They fickle. They oh, in the Great Goose Lounge like this, taking shots with wow. Timberland. They like, I don't have to go to the concert, I'll go to the VIP. And be VIP. By the way, I've learned that from Miami yeah. people. They going all the way got, to I got yeah, courtside yeah. tickets. And I stayed at the Grey Goose Lounge in the back because it was like Club Live. I was like, right. fuck it. Well, I go out there. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and the game is still on and shit. Right, yeah, and yeah, that, unfortunately, is a part of the Miami mentality. That's very true. But then how about in the 90s where it was you different. would book shows for, for, for us and we would come out here and the Miami crowd would be there, but the New York crowd would be there too. What happened to that? How, what did it change? New York always was there. You oh, saying yeah. not there no more? No, no, no. I'm saying like what, what, what changed... For it when we all partied together and all that shit. Uh, yeah, that was a beautiful time. Yeah, right. I loved it, was. it. I loved it. I don't know. I think pop culture did that. Uh, whoever put the divide on the east and west did the right, south and right. the north. And wow. the, somebody did it. 
Yeah. Wow. Somebody section it off so they could charge differently. Wow. $10 for this section, $20 for that section, $4 for that one, $1,500. Are you taking the boiler section? Or I don't, don't know. I'm just okay. divide <laughs> and conquer. That's all okay. I'm talking about. Okay. Divide okay. and conquer. They just like, no, nah, you niggas can't be friends, nigga. That nigga from over there. Yeah. Like, bitch, we I'm going I'm, to I'm tell you, I'm going to tell you, and, I, and this is, it was at one point I used to come to Miami, and I used to be like, yo, it was Brooklyn in the house. And people would lose their fucking money. See, I couldn't stand that you back then. You cannot say that right, right now. I couldn't stand you it. Cannot, you cannot go anywhere in Miami right. and say, it's Brooklyn in the but house. See, It'll be a Miami Jamaican that's from but, Brooklyn and say, but where that was at? Boy. But listen. But where that was at? Like, like they proud again. That, like, was, okay. that was from Fifth Street, Luke's, on over. Mm -hmm. Like, if you was here, unless you went down south somewhere, mm -hmm. closer to the Grove now, when you was in Liberty City, Casio, Balaka, right. Lil' Hayden, that wouldn't have went down. Right. The it was the city was, was the still divided yeah. still. Cause right. It was definitely South Beach, let's be clear. Yeah, right. But yeah, I'm yeah. saying, that's what that was. So mm -hmm. they would be there. Like, that's where me and my New York niggas would go. Mm -hmm. You know, but me and my Overlock Cash City niggas, we over here mm -hmm. in, the, in the bottom, the out the right, 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 You know, right. I would take my other nigga that once in a while when I felt like, uh, nigga, don't worry about it. You with me, bitch. Right, right. Not, none of this shit matters to you. You with me. Right. That's all that matters. So we move like that. Mm. Yeah, but that's all. And, and it was know. no disrespect to New York. It's just you in your own city. You don't want right. to hear. Like, look, look, we said we both went to the Biggie show. His no, first no, no. show. No, by the way, we all went because we was hip hop heads. Right. By the way, EFN, let me just let me just not like single out mm. Miami. I went to Atlanta on that same tour. Mm. I went to Atlanta. And they had the, the same problem. And I was like, yo, it's Brooklyn in the house. By the way, I'm not from Brooklyn, I'm from Queens. Right, right, right. So I, it was just something was to say at the time. Right. It was a thing to say at the time. Sure. And I would go to Atlanta. I'm like, it's Brooklyn in the house, and just, the price would go crazy. And right. I was like, I know these motherfuckers are not from Brooklyn. Right, but that like, was the right. thing to do. That's what right. we used to say at the time. Yeah. We used to call, my, me and my crew, we did a song called Fake Out of Towners. It was addressing that. Mm. It was people that, that either they were from New York or they weren't, but they, mm. they felt that, that that was their identity here. And we're like, yo, if you pay your bills here. And in all, due respect, in all due respect, at that time, New York did seem like it ran the world at that time. It did. In, industry wise, it did. It did. That's, yeah. what that's what we talking about. That's the whole New York yeah. state of mind. That's what yeah. we're talking about. That's, yeah. Listen, it was that. Look. Right. It was, listen, man. New York ran radio. I think Calvin ran movies and TV some right. kind of way. Mm -hmm. And then when yep. the majors got involved, you niggas had to figure out a way to work together, but it was still us still fighting, trying to... Right. What up, bitch? We want to get in the game, so, too. I, I mean, that's kind of my question. We want to get in, is, too. Is... With, with, with like you said, I, I, I love what you just said. You just said that Cali ran like the movies Movie to, until the film they, until gangster rap came, right? Yeah. And then they ran gangster rap. But the New York ran the, pretty much the industry. What is That's the right. state of Miami? I'm guessing I'm gonna say to you, and then you can pass nope. it to EFN. What was the state of Miami at that time? Right. And especially, especially, I remember me knowing that Miami is the Merc <laughs> capital at this time. But, yeah. but y'all got Shake With Your Mama, okay? you right, got right, right, Luke, right, right. you got Luke, and y'all right. got all this right. beautiful I mean, that's music. That's the time we're coming off but the But you gonna get time. killed. Eight, right. Late 80s, we're Crossing that bridge. Right. Crossing that bridge, you gonna get killed. Yeah. But see, you was blessed to know that much. Those mm. with eyes that couldn't see, they was getting caught up in it. Mm. Like, the mentality at that time, we still fans of. It's just some of us who know what's really going on and some right. of us, you know, blind leading the blind, sheep. Some mm -hmm. of us were sheep. But, like, at the time, we were still trying to create our identity or, right. you know, Democrat, Republican, Independent. Mm -hmm. That's us now, you know what I'm saying? East, West, South. Mm -hmm. You know, we were trying to create mm -hmm. that. Deep. Yeah, that's what we were trying to do then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, you know... When the reality of it was, it was still the culture, but they hadn't already put those markers in place, the dividers. Because right. you got to think, like like I, like I say, I went to school with a lot of New York niggas. Uh -huh. The niggas, we been up and down. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's it, that's it right there. They been here. As far as I know, I always ran into a New York nigga, Jamaican nigga, Haitian nigga, Cuban nigga. I've known these niggas all my life. Right, right. <laughs> That's Miami. Right, not real talk. That's I, Miami in a nutshell. I've known these niggas all my life. Look, and being young, I ain't even know who was who until we got older. Then I started looking at a nigga like, 
Yeah, like, I always knew that nigga's mama spoke Creole. I knew that nigga mama spoke Spanish. I knew that nigga mama spoke Patois. And, but we was all the things I got in the, Until we get old, I see other family members. You start seeing shape that nigga head. You start seeing these right. cheekbones. <laughs> you don't know that that's it until you get old. Until you get old. Get old. <laughs> right. <laughs> and like, damn, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. So let me ask you, um, <laughs> you, me, you know, going through this interview and you saying how West Coast was influential on you, was it was it Luke who came to you and said, we got to go at these West Coast guys? Or was it something you guys already did and Luke co-signed? You talking about a particular song? Uh-huh. Faking Like Games with Cowboys and Continent. Which one? Oh, that, that little era. Because see, right? But Dre Day came out first, right? No. This is this this Faking like gangsters. We did on Lou album. But we was talking about niggas in the industry, period. You know, about niggas faking like gangsters. Like even my lyrics was pretty vague. They were hard as fuck though, in case y'all ain't him go look God it damn, up. God damn. But listen. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty very pretty open, like for niggas fake, you know, picture a nigga that's ugh. So so you know, but so then Before the record is done, because it's a record, these niggas I know, they did a skit. These niggas I know. <laughs> and they they calling niggas out. And I'm like... The West Coast guys. Yeah, right? like... But me, I'm like, what? when we start doing that, what part... Like, as far as I know, Luke and them niggas was cool. Right. When Portland Clan got on, we was cool with them niggas. They was... It was them doing the shows against the world. Okay. So I don't say nothing. They like, oh man, fuck this, this shit funny, man. Da, da, da. Then Luke came and still later that night. He heard it and he laughed. He, he, uh, uh. And I'm sitting there like, but they had not made a diss towards Luke at this time. Not yet. No. It was a skit, you saying? And, and, and remember, the record we did was vague. It wasn't calling nobody out. Right. Yeah, you know, might have been a line somewhere, but it, it was so vague. You know, you. You looking for it or you ain't, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. I um when the record came out, it was like, yeah. Anyway, Luke allowed it because ain't nobody got to say so but Luke Campbell. Mm-hmm. He allowed it to go. So when that record came out before that, next thing you know, the next year, then they did. Dre Day. Dre Day. Cause they like, like, oh you know. Luke's in uh, Luke's Luke, in, uh Luke. right. Uh. And and I'm that would have ne- never happened if he would have said, no, nah, we're not doing that. Uh, but but I also heard him and them and them talking, and they were talking about, yeah, man. Through we the concert the afterwards. Yeah, right? concert, like yeah. pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. In my mind, I'm not thinking that. See, I'm still young, and I'm with the bullshit. Yeah, I'm like not thinking guns, business and me and dollars. Beef. I'm like, nigga, how you going? And then, like, y'all play with too NWA. Much. Yeah, y'all niggas play too. That's no, after NWA. Because I'm serious. I'm ready. Think first, you know NWA's first interview, they had AKs on there. Like, it was like not the people to play with. And, and it was all that, but then, them niggas was cool, man. I, them niggas was cool. Right. Respected each other ass, because mm. I don't care how many hoes and booty shape records you put in front of Luke and them to get a style DJ. Mm-hmm. That the kind of shit was dead around. I witnessed that on the Two Little Like Mothers tour. I'm like, there, um, I was there. I was off the porch. I was there, eighty nine. <laughs> but anyway, the way that started, I think it shouldn't have never started. It, it did, it did. But uh, I was, uh, I was with my guy. You know what I'm saying? Roll with Luke. Yeah, I was rolling. But he got a funny part of that because <clears throat> being that I knew how it started, you knew that they kind of was a little it bit. Was, I, was a, I wasn't with it at first. I was like, nine. He tried three or four names. I just gave him a number, but he paid that number. Wait, what? what Period. Yeah, I said it. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> say it again. Say it again. At first, I wasn't with it. Okay. Then I gave him a number, and he like, fuck it, I'm giving that number. <laughs> Then I did my verse. Oh! Because he done tried three or four niggas, but they couldn't bring it home. Okay. Oh. Back then, like, they were going to oh. bring it home okay. and make it respectable in the... Uh. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That's it. So you and my line, the camera in my line. <clears throat> right. Check. We know. You understand what I'm saying? But 
Cause I wasn't gonna do it, cause I, I knew it was it was really some fuck shit. And it was like, damn, but I like them niggas music. But mm-hmm. but if they against you, boy, what? You gotta roll with the grip. Like you sure you yeah. we gotta fuck them up. Let's just cut off their lights for a week. Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's not kill them. Mm. Something like that. I'm just mm. you gotta be with me, man. Check. Yeah, but that's all though. Right. So, you know, I did it, you know, and then and that was that. What were we talking about? How Calvin Cotton started? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, you know, because them niggas was cool. So then after the record comes out, how do y'all become amicably with them? Like, how do y'all squat? Thank God everybody was still players. And then when Easy and Duff Row was beefing, I actually recall Luke on the phone with Easy talking to my Zay, and I'm like, yeah. And that's the first time I heard that pay per view show game. Cause mm-hmm. I'm like, nah, all right, boom. Here go a gangster one that nobody know. Ball, where you at? Uh, the video to Don't Sleep on the Hills though, push it back. That's in California. Oh shit. That's 93. That's at the same set way Easy did the this record with Dre and them the same record way Dre and them did where they had to sign with Easy. Right. We in the same studio. It cost me an extra 10000 to fly to L.A. to do it. Like, because we're in the height of the beef. This is how crazy we was, young niggas, right? Yeah, well, you can save 10000 He'll do it here, and we'll just create a city. But if you fly out to Cali in the height of this beef, you save 10000 mm-hmm. I'm like, well, fuck it, nigga. Let's go save the money. Not knowing. Bitch, I wasn't getting none of that money anyway, bitch. You got to pay for it. And you could have got killed. This yeah, is, I could have got killed. This is rap no, murder we capital of the world. With, we, had to, we had a Mac 12 and a 9 and a something <laughs> else Holy under shit. the plane. <laughs> under come the plane. On, come yeah. on. You can fly back then with it. Yeah, yeah, well, you got a reporter. You got to let them know what you got. And it's yeah, you should have shot. You can show them the ticket plane. Yeah, yeah, we was doing that way back then. Yeah. So we there. So I'm still like this. But now you got to think. They still got extras and everybody else. But it was so... It was just stupid. But see, the game wasn't what it was today. Because mm-hmm. today, with social media, yeah, yeah man, it was shut our shit down. Right. Yeah. Mind, for $10,000? Yeah. But we talking about 93, 1993, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, the game, I'm just, I, I tell niggas I survived an era. Mm. Picture going through a lot of shit and still, you survived because, yeah, nigga, could have been, could have been really be gone. I mean, if you think of my life, I could have got serious. Yeah, but but over ten thousand now, like, all right, yeah, Mr. Cowell, if that was my little nigga, I wouldn't even offer you that. I'd have paid the ten thousand to keep you with me. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have said, nigga, you knowing I'm not finna give you them ten thousand. Mm. Shit got real. Oh, that's fucked up. Shit got real. See, I'm thinking of some new shit, right? <laughs> But I'm here, bitch. I'm alive. So, so what's next? Fuck with me. What's next for you? Well, you know, I'm doing my R&B album, man. I'm singing, uh, man. Are you serious? Uh, I, I think uh, he's serious about it. No, I'm listen, not sure. I am. Listen, I'm gonna do a bunch of B movies. <laughs> listen, I'm gonna ride this underdog shit, the chilling circuit to the motherfucking no, wheels no fall way. off, bitch. You hear me? <laughs> you, you say the chitlin circuit? All that. I love it. They love me. Circuit. They love me down there. I man. love the chitlin circuit. They be like, yeah, I like but... chitlins, but I like the chitlin circuit. Yeah, but I like. You, I, I like. We, the we understand. If all. I was to go back and do shows, I would do the chitlin. They love. They love is organic. Yeah. It's, it's genuine. Yeah. It's, it's the hood. Yeah, but, but right. The, the you know, when, when we get the out of love, you know what I'm saying? It it, it was helped, but when when it's there, it's there now. Can't take it. But can't take what. Is, mm-hmm. but um, if they don't, if you don't feed them enough, you know they lose interest. You know humans, you know short attention span. You know regular people. You know what I'm saying we superheroes out there. Nigga, saying we god people. You know, like, let me stop. <laughs> but you lucky, no, man. You got don't. that loyal fan base that, right. that's, that's never gonna go. A lot of artists don't got. I that. wanted to be lucky before, but I'm like it's just a blessing because I'm swear it's the only reason I write. If I didn't have them. Um, Picture me rolling. Can you see me working on a nine to five? Can you see me at somebody's desk? Right. Or somebody, well, well, how you see me, man? <laughs> well, picture me rolling. <laughs> Yo, man, I ain't gonna lie. This shit has been so beautiful. We glad we had got to give you your flowers, my brother. Oh, bless, man. Thank uh, you, brother. I'll take one more. This is it. 
That's it now. This is it. Hold on, let me finish my shit. I'm Puerto Rican. Hold up, I ain't taking my. Did I miss one? No, did no, you no, go no. without me? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. I got it. Now. No, 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 no. That's my regular drink. I, I, wanna, I, I just don't I want, want to cheat. My regular drink. I, I don't want to cheat because you're my Officially, my last shot. Last I cannot one, do it. This is the day, baby. But JT Sunday. Money. New Year, yeah. Let me tell you something. Great chance. Thank we got, you. We got our friend Garcia. He doesn't come out for nobody. And he yeah. came out to the here with us because oh, man, he a real 305 nigga, Trail Five. What trail up, Wolf? Five. <laughs> Bet that up, Wolf. You know what I mean? Salute to Day County. The County, Day County. Day I'm County. a Day County nigga. We rapping that. Love, love y'all. Love you, yo. Back, and you, you a Thank real you, one. Bro. Hold on, you a real one, and you deserve every accolades. And this is your Thank house. You. You gonna come in here? Oh, how you talk some shit about other niggas too? Thank yeah, but look, but, I never but did this time was about giving you your flowers. But I'm I feel like you, 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 I'm you should start your own podcast as well. Mm. well it's gonna be distributed by Drink Champs. Well, just, right, Salud. You we signed you to Death Row Records. Salud. We gonna do that. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. uh, invite, invite me home and we'll do that. Cause Whew, I'm gonna yeah, take man, you. love.